Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, friends. Welcome on back to a little randomized perfection action. Starring, not Chloe, as the screen might deceive you to believe, but, but Beatrix. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? And a good morphering to you as well, Spruik. <laughs> hello. Good to see friends, new and old, rolling in here. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, Kitty Burger. Thank you for asking. I am a, a little congested, like I got a little, a little bit of a sore throat, a little nasally still. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's the same sickness that I had over the past weekend, re-manifesting, or if it's um, like a new thing coming on, but. But I'm I'm hanging in there for now, so we'll see we'll see how this goes. Sorry to hear you had a rough morning there, Miss Palindrome. Hope I can help ameliorate it to a certain extent. By the way, ameliorate, I feel is like one of those words that needs to be brought back into the into the, like the common modern lexicon. You never hear anyone use the word ameliorate anymore, and it's a great word, and it has a good meaning. I don't know why why people don't use it more. Maybe they just don't know. Yo, thank you for the exclamation point goal as well there, Lisa. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that noise right there. Get more French people around and we will. You don't know what that word means. Ameliorate basically just means to make better. It's just it's just a good word. It's a good word to have in your vocabulary. But maybe it's not. Maybe I mean, it depends. We have to reach the threshold. We have to reach the the breaking point where enough people know what ameliorate means that using it is not seen as like a weird thing, right? I think most people default to improve. Improve and ameliorate are not synonyms, though. Improve is like... Well, it, te it technically is to make better, but it's in like a different context than ameliorate is, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just coping right now. Either way, before we get into the stream here, we do have a little bit of fan art to go over here. We got one... uh one visual piece and one written piece as well after after a while but let's start it off right here we got this beautiful rendition of the of the master angler um thumbnail that's that's basically how i felt the entire time playing the challenge or at least in the final moments of the challenge is how chloe looks right there this is an extremely good rendition of chloe i love this it's very cute. <laughs> I was, she was, she was, you know, the spirals in the eyes sell it for me. It's really, really nice. The despair, it's so true. <laughs> it perfectly encapsulates all the feelings of, of fishing for so many hours in such a, such a, such a dreary landscape. Not even knowing if, if it was going to be possible or not. Very well done. This is from Sharky Licks over on the Discord, by the way. Thank you to Sharky Licks for this one. Greatly appreciated. It's very, very nice. And we also have, um, let me pop over to the, hold on a second. Let me just move my windows and stuff around. We got over on the Discord, our old friend Mia, who has written much in the way of, uh, of like written like little poems and stuff throughout the randomizer. Um, Mia has returned to write yet more beautiful words based on, um, based not on the randomizer this time, but on our new, our new friend Flip. Flip over in Stardew Valley Expanded, the new character that we've been, uh, that we've been repping out there. So, so let me regale you with this tale called A Flipped Adventure by Mia over on the Discord. Written by Mia, performed by yours truly. <clears throat> I gotta get my, get my performing voice on. Hold on. Hold on. Hydration break. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Bring, bring. 
That's the phone ringing. That's me. That's my phone. Okay. Um, hello? Beatrix, good you answered. Chloe, what the heck? It's one in the morning. Don't pay attention to the fact that my Chloe and Beatrix voices are the same. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um... This is Chloe talking. No, no, listen, this is important. I have something I need to talk to you about. Is this about fishing or a present for Haley? Again, laugh track. No, listen, I've been dreaming of a world just a little bit slanted. A world we know, but a bit left, not unrecognizable, but a bit too expanded. In that world, I can see a me that's not me, and I can't help but ponder about that not me. Who would I be if I wasn't me? Perhaps I'd be taller, or boy, that's a flip. I, th I think I'd like dogs still, but maybe not hats. With my fashion on point, would that would that be me fine? Without a Haley to cherish and no challenge to grind? But that's not. But that's me. That's not me. I think would be fine. Happiness be found in new faces and places to find. A brand new adventure in a world that's not home. Do you agree about that flipped me? I can't help but worry about the valley I see on the other side of Haley's looking glass. It, it creeps in my dreams, that other me, but they're smiling, so I'm sure that adventure will simply be keen. Uh, Chloe? Yes, Beatrix, sorry, you probably need to go to bed now. It's fine. Look, I think the other self will have a great adventure, as long as they don't challenge Yoba. Just do me a favor. Sure thing. Tell Haley to stop letting you eat pickles before bed. Uh, good night. Will do, except when I want to check on my other self. Good night, Beatrix, and thanks for listening. Click. Yo, get some snaps in chat for Mia. That was great. <laughs> I was getting some some major Dr. Seuss energy out of those rhymes. That was uh that was good. Very very well done. Thank you to Mia for that one. <laughs> A great encapsulation of of what Flip's story is is feeling like so far. Chloe calling all her alternate universe versions. The Chloe verse, as you will, <laughs> as it could become to known. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, thank you to all the fan artists who have shared fan art over the past couple of years. It's been amazing to see. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord, there's a link to the Discord in the description below the stream where you can find the fan art channel. Share it over there. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited, and all that good stuff. All right. Dude, my nose is so runny right now. Hold on. Well, I'm going to mute so that you don't hear me blowing my nose. One second. I have returned from the land of, uh, of nasal congestion. The worst part is I don't know if, like, this runny nose right now is a part of, like, me getting sick or something like that again. Or if it's a part of just like dust getting up in my nose and causing it to run, because that happens a lot around here too. It gets it gets pretty dusty. Either way, I digress. That's neither here nor there. Before we get on with our randomized journey today, how do you guys feel about doing some dailies? I'm I don't know if we, I'm I'm gonna keep trying. I, I we tried Poke Doku on the on the expanded stream last time. And it might not be clear to everybody, but I have a great time with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try, and then we'll we'll jump into Puff Fertile as well, and we'll see how that goes. So we're, we're gonna speed run Poke Doku though. We're gonna speed run because I don't want it to take too long before we actually get into the game here. Hope your sinus is clear up soon. Yeah, my my sinus is. I mean, I'm usually I'm usually pretty good at not getting sick, but it's uh. When it hits me, it hits me hard, so. All right, here we go. This is today's Poke Doku puzzle. For those not in the know, we have to guess nine Pokemon, each that like match the row and column that they're in. Preferably the, the more unique options that we pick, the better. Bug poison type? Bug poison type. There's there's many options for this. People are gonna automatically default to like Beedrill, I think. Beedrill, is, is Beedrill like the only option I can think of as well? There's got to be other options for bug poison types for sure, but I'm just going to go Beedrill Mega, just to throw a little wrench into the mix right there. All right, Poison Water. That's an easy one. That's Mariani. That's not a problem at all. All right. Poison type from Hisui. Hisui is Legends Arceus, right? 
Hisui is uh, is the region of Le of Legends Arceus. In that case, I believe this would be a little Sneasler jam right here. Sneasler poison fighting, I'm pretty sure. All right, Bug Psychic, no problem with that at all. That's Orbital G Max right there. Easy peasy. Psychic Water, hit me with a little Slow King on this one. Not Slow King Galar. That's easy easy to be confused. A Psychic type from Hisui. Psychic type from Hisui is Weirdier Psychic. I want to say Weirdier is Psychic, but I don't actually know off the top of my head. I haven't played Legends Arceus, so I'm I'm out of my element in this one. Maybe one of the starters is Psychic as well. I think there's like Typhlosion is like a ghost type. I'm gonna go with Weirdier. We're gonna hope for the best on that one. All right, forty percent. You take that. A bug type evolved by an item. No problem. Hit me with a little Vicavolt evolved with the Thunderstone. Water type evolved by an item. Hit me with Politoed. You need a little King's Rock for that guy. And a Hisuian Pokemon evolved by item. Now is when I'm f entirely out of my element. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. A Hisui Pokemon evolved by an item. Maybe Cleavor? Maybe you need like a, a big stone or something for this guy? All right, cool. That works. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Ursa Luna. Cleavor. It's like a it's like a rock version of Scyther. You don't need to worry about it. My streak is one because I wasn't logged in last time. You love to see it. Hisui is it certainly is a region. <laughs> it's from Legends Arceus. It's like the like like prehistoric, like like prototypical version of, of Sinnoh, I think. I don't know. I don't fully know, honestly. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super diamond, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. And Tyler Watson being a member for one whole year at the Positron level. Can we get some Argon love for, for Tyler Watson here? Holy moly. <laughs> that is that is a lot of support. Thank you for, for 12 months of Positron level support. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate the generosity. That's hype. That's very hype. All right, on to Puff Fertile we go. On to Puff Fertile as we ease more into the into the Stardew side of the stream here, which is like most of the stream, obviously. <laughs> All right, hit me with the daily. What do we got? Okay, ooh, you're jump, you're jumping. Is it is a little jumpy fish? This could be. I mean, maybe this is just because I've been I was playing Stardew Expanded and we caught a lot of catfish, but this definitely feels like it could be a catfish. I probably will start there if I'm able to ever, like, catch this fish. Or lose the fish. It's, it's rare that the that the actual catching segment of the puff turtle lasts this long. Bro, I just want to get guess catfish, please. Thank you. All right, catfish. Hit me with it. All right. Not a lot of... I mean, not a lot of information can also turn out to be a lot of information. If you know what you're doing. Weather being yellow tells me that this is an all-weather fish. It's not a rainy day or sunny day fish. Season, catfish is available in spring and fall, right? I don't think it's available in summer or winter. Location is off. Maybe we go to the, uh... How do we feel about a squid, actually? How, how does a squid feel here? Okay, it's not an oceanic fish. That's good to know. Not an oceanic fish. Could this be a specialty fish of some kind? A specialty, maybe a little... It's not scorpion carp, I don't think. Maybe it was a stonefish, actually. Give it a stonefish a try. Okay. Not a specialty fish, because it's not available all season. I guess I should have gleaned that from the uh, from the catfish up there before. What are you? Could you be a Dorado? Are you maybe a Dorado? Well, the Dorado's available in the same place that a catfish is, though, so that wouldn't work. Um... Mountain Lake. Are you a sturgeon? Could this be a sturgeon? Ooh, I finally made it to the lake. Oh, baby. We caught ourselves a sturgeon. Let's go. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, my goodness. Also, thank you to Jenga986 for the 20 months of support at the Positron level. Holy moly. Thank you for the generosity and the support. Thank you. <laughs> and to Blast it for the four months at the Neutron level as well. Just remember I have this. It's easy to forget about the... About the, the membership reminder, I guess. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the support. This sturgeon catch was for you. Like a sturgeon. 
caught for the very first time. All right. There we go. Mind if I ask what this game is called? Elephant Gaming. That was Puffertle. P-U-F-F-E-R-D-L-E. -E. You can you can look it up on uh, on Google or your search engine of choice, which may, I don't know. Maybe you're out here rocking ass G's. It's not my place to judge. But uh, but I'm sure you you should probably. It might just be Puffertle.com as well. But I, I don't. I can't claim to. I can't claim to know for a fact. No problem. No problem. Wait, what happened? Hold on a second. My, I got, I got, when I loaded into, I'm loading into Stardew right now, but my Smappy gave me red lines. Skipped mods. These mods couldn't be added to your game because it requires mods which aren't installed. Oh, I know what's happening here. Okay, it's, hold on. There's, there's some, I, I, there's something going on behind the scenes. I forgot to add, because I'm always, like, swapping around different mod packs and stuff for, like, like, between expanded and between the randomizer and between stuff I'm doing off stream. There's, there's a lot of stuff to juggle here, but I think this is the one I need. Hold on a moment. Technical difficulties. We're no stranger to technical difficulties around here. Shania, hello. Hello from Jakarta. Ooh. How, how exciting. All right, we're good. We got no, no red lines from Smappy today. Let's go. Let me load into Beatrix here. All right. Give me one quarter of a half of a millisecond here. And I will bring you in to sweet. Craft an ostrich incubator. Pardon me, didn't want to believe that it was real, but here we are. <laughs> this is our goal, to craft this ostrich incubator. Not as bad as it, as it could have once been, but it's still probably going to take us a minute to, to get things done here. Andrew Cunningham, by the way, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you so much for the support. Saw your fishing challenge video yesterday and was mildly inspired by the power of the human spirit. Oh my gosh. Thank can't stay for the stream, but props for that. Thank you so much for dropping in and, and leaving your support. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. It was a it was a great time. Alright. So Goal here is to craft an ostrich incubator. We actually have all of the resources to craft the ostrich incubator. We just need to get the recipe. And in order to do that, we need to get, uh, we need to complete the fossil collection on Ginger Island here, Professor Snail's, like, research station. And the only thing we have left to do in order to complete it is get the mummified bat, which is a 0.5% chance drop from, uh, breaking open rocks in the volcano, so... We have a decent mining level now. That's that's our saving grace. We got mining level 5, which means we actually have a decent amount of leeway as far as experience goes here. Hopefully that'll be more than enough for us to get the mummified bat. But uh, it's only time will tell, I suppose. So here's what we got to do. Slingshot with explosive ammo. We don't have access to explosive ammo, unfortunately. You need to be a higher combat level, I'm pretty sure. That would be that would be ideal, but we could we can also just rock bombs, I think. Zero reset believer here. I here's I don't know how much we're gonna reset. We need to okay, I need to sit I need to figure out I need to get my volcano set up uh on deck here before I worry about anything else. So I'm probably gonna need to head back to the uh <laughs> to the island in or not to the island. I mean I guess it is technically an island, because isn't everything an island if you go far enough? But I need to head back to the mainland in order to set things up here. I came out to Ginger Island prematurely. I remember that now. I am ashamed of my words and my deeds. It's time to go back and actually prepare. <laughs> New outfit, who dis? Hope you're having a great day as well, Bailey. How's progress for the incubator? Um, Frog's Legs, welcome on in. We, we pretty much just started here, actually, because we were doing, like, our, our daily stuff, like a Pufferdle and Pokedoku to start off the stream, so we're actually just basically getting into the game right now. Ditch the skirt, it looks a bit cumbersome. This is definitely not an ideal outfit for Volcano Spelunking, so I think we're gonna go ahead and, and mix it up a little bit here. We gotta find something to match our, our boots. I have a craving for Perch. That's nice. 
Anyway, um, we need to we need to find like we need to go pick up our best boots, which are probably either mermaid boots or dragon scale boots, and build our outfit around that. That way, we can be fashionable and safe. The platonic ideal that everyone should strive for. All right, home sweet home for a little bit anyway. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just set that aside. What don't I need in my inventory for the volcano right now is is what I should start with here. I don't need an axe. I don't need a hoe. I need the pickaxe. I need the watering can. I need the weapon. I don't need the sunflowers because I think I can probably do do better food than that. So let's go ahead and start there. Um, and while I have the free inventory, I guess we can do our our outfit decision before anything else here. All right, mermaid boots are plus five defense, plus eight immunity. I think mermaid boots are the right call, right? So that we don't, so that we can avoid like slime time as much as possible. Mermaid boots. We'll lock in our, our rings a little bit later here. Arabella, thank you for being a member for four months at the Electron level, by the way. Getting spoiled because I'm behind just to say hi. Well, hello, and thank you for dropping in. You don't don't feel the need to stick around. You don't. You, I don't want to spoil you too much here. All right. So mermaid boots. If we're going mermaid boots, what's the what do we have to match mermaid boots? Because they're like a nice dark blue. So we are we gonna go blue hue from here? Are we going blue hues or are we gonna mix it up a little bit and just have like the blue as an accent here? Like this shirt is a nice blue. We could start we could start building around that. This is like Sandy's shirt, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Periwinkle shirt. We could go purple. Where is it? Like, is there I mean we could definitely let's let's stick with the blue theme for right now. We can mix it up if we're not feeling it. This shirt maybe actually could could work as well. Ancient doll shirt, I'm just saying. There is there is a little blue in there. <laughs> From the Blackberry Cobbler. There's so many shirts now that I honestly have a hard time keeping track of, of which one I got where. Is it just like this uh, like this shirt here? Is this the Blackberry Cobbler shirt? Can we tailor an Iridium bar? We actually could. We have plenty of Iridium bars we could, uh, we could get away with. Welcome on in, Alvin. Uh, what's the mission? Exclamation point goal. Or there is, up in the top left, you can also see we're looking to craft an ostrich incubator, which has many steps involved in it, but the one we're currently focusing on right now is getting a mummified bat from the volcano. I scrolled past it. That sounds like something I would do. All right, hold on. We're just gonna... Give me... Let's see. I, th I think white pleated skirt is honestly a nice compliment to just about anything here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we, maybe we, I don't know, we, we might need a new color of skirt or a new color of pants or something like that. I guess if you're going into the volcano, you probably want like pants. You probably want actual pants instead of, uh, instead of a skirt. You gotta stay protected. This is some pretty high waist pants by the looks of it though. <laughs> I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the look. Spot seed, hello, welcome on in. Okay. There are other shirts. What about this shirt here? This shirt here. That's a nice shirt. That's a pretty nice shirt. Is this the Blackberry Cobbler shirt? I feel like I feel like this is the one. This is this is a nice shirt. I don't know if I'm in love with the with our pants situation right now. But I don't know where to go with the pants situation. Maybe we maybe we focus on hat first in order to just accent, accent, accentuate. Ooh, blue cowboy hat. Could this be blue cowboy hat time? We could go blue cowboy hat. Shorts because it's hot. I was thinking about that. How do these shorts look? How do these shorts go? How do we look? I feel like the denim ranger or something. I don't. I don't. I don't know. This it's kind of it's kind of hype, honestly. It's kind of it's kind of epic. A little top heavy. I mean, I don't have many other... I don't have many other, uh... You like the black pants? It's giving Lil Nas X vibes. 
I don't know if I go shorts, if I go... Like, these are pretty good, too. Blue cowboy hat, not with that shirt. I think, I think that might be what's throwing things off here. I don't know if the blue cowboy hat is our hat of choice here. Blue bonnet? Probably not, but you know, you gotta give every, you gotta give everything its day on the catwalk. Okay. Um, Tropa clip is, is a potential option here. Tiara, I could also see working. Don't know if I have much. Sunglasses to protect your eyes from the, from the blazing hot volcanic explosions. We could do, we could do sunglasses. The blue bonnet looks so bad. Show me an outfit that, that, that accessorizes well with a blue bonnet and I'll show you a liar. You know, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging this with the sunglasses. I think we could, we could, like, Tiara's not bad either. We haven't, we haven't rocked the Tiara in a minute. Tropiclip is, I mean, it's, it's only two pixels, but it's a beautiful two pixels. I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna rock the sunglasses for right now. It's, it's a very volcanic, I mean, I think you get these literally from tailoring cinder shards. So I think, I think it just makes the most sense here. We're gonna go ahead, this is our, our volcano fit. Rate that volcano fit on a scale of 0 to 100. 0 being the worst outfit you've ever seen, 100 being the best. While I figure out what that, whatever the heck else I need for, <laughs> for food and stuff here. Okay, what am I what am I bringing to the volcano? I need I need buffs. I would like to have buff food. 76, 80, 3, 62. Nightbot Nightbot rates the outfit 100. You can't fool me. That's how optimistic I am. <laughs> all right. Um we bring some triple shot. I guess I'll bring like all my triple shot just so I can die and lose it all and feel sad. But probably worth it. Should I bring crab cakes? I feel like crab cakes are probably a good uh, uh, a good thing to bring. Should I bring all my crab cakes? I should. Get to I think one crab cake lasts like the full day, right? Luck buff. I don't know if luck buff affects the. I don't. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the drop rate of the mummified bat. Is I think it's just like a flat 0.5% drop rate, right? fruit we could bring fruit as our as our food of choice um i did see someone suggested earlier i could go buy some life elixirs from from our homie we actually have a pretty significant amount of uh of money right now so life elixirs might not be a bad play miner's treat miner's treat would over overwrite our crab cake buff i don't think it would be better either It does, just from looking at it yesterday. Luck buff does affect it. Really? Okay. Well, I could... I mean, then I could... I could go triple shot espresso just for the extra speed. And then we could go, like, lucky lunch or something. Or I could go crab cakes. Maybe I go crab cakes and ginger ale for... Or I could go pumpkin soup as well, I guess. I guess pumpkin soup could work as well. We'll, we'll we'll mess around with the with the food options here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and visit uh, visit my homie here, everyone's favorite homie. Get some homies in chat, and we'll buy I'll buy 25 life elixirs. That should be that should be plenty. Actually, we'll buy 50. Let's not be let's not be too frugal here. That's Chloe's thing. Okay, 50 life elixirs. Lucky ring could be could be a potential option as well. We do have the luck ring. Pumpkin soup does not count as a drink, no. We can we can make the philosophical arguments all we want about soup being a drink. According to Stardew, soup is a food. Our pumpkin soup would be plus two luck, plus two defense. That might be the best of both worlds here. In in place of crab cakes. How long does a pumpkin soup last? It doesn't last the full day, does it? So I might have to bring like both of these if I wanted to if I was out there for long enough. Pumpkin soup plus triple shot espresso for a little bit a little bit of speed to get around. How do we feel about that? Hold on, I wanted to rearrange this.
Yo, thank you so much, End Story. I'm glad that you were uh, glad that you enjoyed the video. Thank you, thank you very much. Both of the videos, in fact, the fishing and the no level up one. Glad to have you here. You're welcome. You're what you're 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 among good company. Pumpkin soup is seven minutes forty seconds. Okay, fair enough. Soup is like boba. Let's not go down this rabbit hole. We have to prepare for the volcano here. Okay. Um, should I bring bombs? Yes, probably, right? Lucky ring instead of glow ring. We'll sort out the rings in a second. I just want to sort out my inventory first. Is this a good inventory? Does this feel like a good inventory to us? Or is there anything missing? You vote ginger ale over espresso? Hold on, I want to... I'm, I'm going to look this up real quick. Let me see. Mummified bat. Let's let's confirm for ourselves based on on wiki on the wiki. Let's see. The mummified bat is an item that can be obtained by breaking rocks at a one in two hundred chance in the volcano. There's nothing on the page here about it being impacted by luck that I can see. Is is there is there someone else I, sh I somewhere else I should be looking? It says. On the, on the page for the Mummified Bat itself, it says just a flat 1 in 200 chance. Luck should not affect the drop rate. Take wood for a volcano chest. Oh no. <laughs> Hollis Wood, you've been around long enough. You should know. You should know we're not able to, to make that happen. We have, we're not allowed to craft chests yet. Luck, luck buff improves geode and coal drop rates from rocks, so you're reading into that. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Mobby looked into the code, and it's not affected by luck. All right. So we don't need to worry so much about luck. Um, is pumpkin soup still a good food, though, just, just by virtue of the plus two defense? Or should we go with a different buff food instead? Like, we got Miner's Treat, which is plus three mining. I don't actually don't think that would help us at all, really. We could go Crab Cakes, which would be a slight sacrifice on the defense, but a, another speed buff. Crab cakes and espresso. I think crab cakes are probably our probably our best option here. Then super meal, forty max energy. Probably doesn't doesn't matter too much to us here. Yeah, pumpkin soup is is a great one for like deep dives into Skull Cavern and things with the with the luck buff there. But I think crab cakes for our purposes right now are going to be better, just so we can circumnavigate the uh, the volcano a little bit better. Not circumnavigate, it's technically just navigate, but circumnavigate's a fun word to say. Okay. To avoid XP crab cakes. I'm gonna bring two crab cakes for now. And I can put away put away one in the chest, because one should last the whole day. You know what, we'll bring we'll bring three crab cakes just depending on how many like resets and stuff we plan on doing when we get there. Um alright, so Unless I'm, unless otherwise told, this seems like a good inventory to me. I, I always feel like I'm missing something when I set up for for a volcano or a mines run or anything like that, but I think this is fine. We're going to go ahead and check our ring situation right now. We got magnet and glow ring currently. I feel like... What do we normally have here? We have a combined ring. This is the protection ring plus immunity band. That's a, that's a pretty good one right there. I'd probably take that over the over the glow ring right now. And I feel like, I mean, the lucky ring could, I, I actually don't think it will affect anything, will it? it I was going to say maybe we'll get some like extra drops of something out of it, but I think probably, honestly, our best bet here is this combined ring. So prote protection ring plus immunity band plus magnet ring. I feel like the magnet ring is good. Just so we can draw in, like in case the mummify bat's about to fall in lava, this could this could save the day at the last minute. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a smart move right there. We could actually do we have the uh, the cinder shards? I this, we would be the first person ever to to just like to use the forge to combine a magnet ring and a glow ring instead of just making a glowstone ring. <laughs> but we're not able to make a glowstone ring. So we could do that instead, if we if we wanted the best of both worlds, just to have. I don't know how how beneficial the glow ring would be, but I mean having them combined into one that we're wearing those two rings like literally all the time, right? So 
or magnet plus protection. Would a second protection ring affect anything? I don't. Th I don't think protection rings stack. Stack, do they? Because we already have a protection ring baked into this one. I'm pretty sure they don't stack. We're not able to make an iridium band yet. No. Glow ring is convenient but not necessary. I think we'll leave it. I do think. I do think it's just you know my inkling for convenience that wants me to have a glow ring with the magnet ring, but I don't think it's it, it's currently strictly necessary. So we'll, we'll leave it. We'll save the cinder shards. They are a pretty rare resource, even though we've we've amassed quite a good amount of them by virtue of our stingray fish pond. But uh, but getting lots of them in, in short succession is, is still not that easy for us. We technically can, like, mine them now and stuff, but uh, I'd rather not burn too much XP on that if I don't have to. Okay. Lock it in. I think we're I think we're ready to go. I think we're officially ready for Freddy. Wait, not Freddy, no. We're ready for the volcano. Who's out here talking about, about Freddy Fazbear? Not me. Alright. I'm a little nervous. I'm always nervous when I go to the volcano. I mean, we, we're a little bit better prepared for it now than we have been on previous runs. We actually have some good defenses. We're a higher a higher combat level than we normally have been. Iota, I trust you to take care of the farm in my absence. If I don't come back, um, everything everything goes to you and bro. What the heck? You and Pi. <laughs> For some reason, I was blanking on, on Pi's name. I don't know how I ever could have done that, but... There we go. Alright, buy a ticket. Is the Bat Skeleton the only thing that we need? It is, yeah. It's literally the one stepping stone standing between us and an Ostrich Incubator right now. Is a single mummified bat. Why is Iota eating the pier? Iota works in mysterious ways that I can't even begin to comprehend. I'm not going to question her decisions. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop away two crab cakes in here because I don't need all three for the day ahead. All right. Final warning. Let's lock it in. Gus, is your refrigerator running? Let's just see what he's got. Pepper poppers. That's actually a pretty good uh, dish of the day if we if we needed it, but we get that, those from Shane anyway, so it's fine. All right. Go to sleep for the night. We're going to sleep. So how am I gonna how how am I gonna approach this? Should we have a threshold before before we actually go to bed here? Should I have a threshold of mining XP where I reset, or should I just like not worry about it until I'm getting close to literally level leveling up? Full send it before resetting. Like I can't think of any reason we would need to save mining XP necessarily. Doesn't matter until it's close. Yeah. I think I should probably avoid like bombing cinder shard nodes and ore nodes and stuff just to min just to like maximize the amount of experience and amount of rocks I can break without having to reset. What's the beep boop sword? This is this is the homie sword. Homie sword. The hilt is crafted from the finest jade. The omni blade sparkles with a variety of minerals. Is beautiful. And it's ours. It's all ours. All right. Lock it in. We're going. Here we go. Hit me with a little six. Oh no, I'm getting... <laughs> Chad, I'm getting the weirdest flashbacks to the Master Angler challenge. Because literally every single attempt in that challenge, I would wake up, I would hit six to go to my to my like triple shot espresso. Uh, no, I think it was six to the spicy eels to eat that. Then seven to the triple shot espresso to, to eat that from all my speed buffs. Then like eight to warp. I was I was I would wake up, hit those hot keys, and I did that like hundreds of times. <laughs> and it just <laughs> and and doing that just now where I hit six for my triple shot, I was like, oh, I just got sent all the way back, like a full year in my brain. Welcome on Invince. Hello, hello. Alright. Let's see. 
How long will it take for a mummified bat here? I'm a little scared of the monsters. How much, like, I have a decent amount of leeway with combat XP. Okay, how should I even do this? Like, I, I like, I want, I want to use bombs for sure, but I only really want to bomb in areas where I can just hit, like, normie rocks. Like, here, here's a good spot for a bomb, I think. Okay, I think that was a pretty good, pretty good bomb right there. Didn't get the mummified bat out of it, obviously, but, but we're looking all right. Okay, this is a little sketchy for sure. <laughs> Maybe I should move on to the next floor and just hope for fewer magma sprites to follow me. Okay. All right, this is this is much more calm. I appreciate that. Curiosity lure, Pog. It's the thing from the video, Pog. <laughs> how many people actually use curiosity lures outside of outside of me doing that challenge? I don't know how I don't know how popular they are. Apparently I didn't What didn't I notice? Hold on a second. Does oil of garlic work in the volcano dungeon? It does not, no. Mary said something important. Hold on, Mary, where is your previous message? Bats are seated so I can bomb the floor. If I get it, reset and mine only this rock. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So we can we can definitely do that and and save ourselves some uh some mining XP. I think I might accidentally Ooh, I didn't hit the uh I didn't hit the, whatchamacallit, the ore node there. I was a little worried about that. Okay, watch out for that guy. That's clever. That's very clever, Mary. How confident are we in the fact that the mummified bat is seated, though? Because if it's not, and we reset and try and get it that way, and it, we don't get it, it's going to be very sad. That's a lot of rocks right there. I feel like I should bomb. Even even though it's probably going to hit, like, one of these nodes here. I feel like I, sh I should just bomb that. Okay. We got, a we got a golden walnut out of the deal, at the very least. Still no mummified bats. Oh, I should probably heal, huh? <laughs> Caught that at the last possible second. All right, we're good. Chat, I wasn't... You shouldn't... Don't even be worried. Don't even worry, all right? You let me worry about that. Just a little copper. How are we looking? Okay, we're still we're still good here. We're still good. Not sweating it in the slightest. Okay. Decent spot here for another bomb, I think. Shout if you see a mummified bat that I happen to, to miss. I don't think I'm likely to miss it unless it, like, falls in the lava or something. Ooh, hold on. Legendary chest moment. Amazing chest ahead. Wait a second. There's no chance for a mummified bat out of this, but there is a chance for a deluxe pirate hat. <laughs> what the heck? Hold on. Chloe called. She lost her hat. She wants it back. I love that. Love that for us. All right, that's another gold walnut right there. Oh, this is a button floor, huh? Oh well, that was easy. <laughs> Lock it in. We can we can still reset the day and come back for that deluxe pirate hat. That for sure will still be here. Yo, mummified bat. Okay, okay. So that didn't take too long. So even if this doesn't work, like I can reset. Come back here, get the mummified bat and the deluxe pirate hat. And if it if it doesn't work, if it's not seated and it turns out to just be a random thing, it's not the end of the world because I can just try and find it again, right? We tech we don't need to save the XP, that's true. <laughs> that's true. What's our what's our current XP looking like anyway? 364? We got so much leeway. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's my it's my optimization minded brain that's telling me like I want to stay I want to do this with as little XP as possible but there's really not a reason to I think we just take it I think we just take this and we keep going we keep going deeper into the volcano because we're already here we're gonna see this through why not 
Who knows? Who knows what waits at the end of the uh, at the end of the journey here? Is there a chance that I completely drop the ball and die and lose it and am really sad? Yes. What's your point, though? What's your point? It's another button floor, by the way. Another button floor. Oh, there's a button right over there. Okay. Okay. Easy. Easy mode button. Hold on, I just gotta juke these guys a little bit more. That was not... We'll get them next time. Alright. Okay. Uh, that's a that's a pretty cursed button, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I would like to bomb to just get through there quickly, but I also don't want to... I mean, I get... You know, we can take, take some cinder shards. We've earned it. 12 XP. I'm, will, I'm willing to accept that. Um... Probably get rid of the copper ore here before anything else, right? Please don't die, chat. I don't even you don't even need to worry about look how many life elixirs I have. Only a fool would die with 45 life elixirs in their pocket. And do you do I do you take me for a fool? Do you take me for a fool? When have I ever led you astray and caused you undue anxiety by my reckless behavior? in the mines, volcano, or elsewise. Never, that's right. It's, it never. Literally never, not even a single time. So, we're, we're good, we're good. Cinder clown shoes, though. Ooh, what if we grind it up and got some cinder clown shoes? We'll have to do that eventually. Cinder clown shoes gotta be a part of our, a part of our wardrobe at some point, right? What do you mean constantly? What do you, what are you saying? Dot, why are you saying dot dot dot? What chat? What what the heck? I thought you guys were on my side. I I went and got this dragon tooth for you and everything, and you and you dare you're gonna disrespect me like this? Hmm. Eight coal or mummified bat? Did I have you worried for a, for a second, even a split second? <laughs> All right. Drink on up. Lure. But I like the lure. I think it's just fun to look at. This is kind of an amazing day in the volcano, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is a pretty good volcanic endeavor so far. That said, I do need to be a little careful getting through here. It's so nice actually be able to break rocks. Oh, what the heck is this though? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Alright. Minimum XP gain, I think, is something like this. Actually, the copper nodes aren't that bad as far as XP goes. Only 5 XP for those. That's that's perfectly acceptable. Perfectly cromulent levels of experience. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. I can get through here. Do a little, do, do, we do a little damage boosting in this house. 16 damage. No problem. Not even concerned. I should zoom out a bit. I'd rather zoom in for the sh for the sheer thrill. You know, let's... <laughs> am I, how, how much am I willing to commit to the bit here? Hold on. Zoom me. Zoom me. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is true volcano mining right now. How do we feel about this one? Oh, baby. This is, this is how Beatrix feels like literally every time in here. Beatrix POV? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a little spooky. Wait, this is actually like super scary now. I feel like I'm playing a horror game all of a sudden. Wait, where do I go? Chat, I'm scared. Help. <laughs> Help, what have I done? I've, I'm, but I'm committed now. I, ca I can't I can't go back. I can't go back. <laughs> okay, it's all right. We just have to navigate this. We just have to navigate this. Chat, you think this is anxiety inducing? How do you feel now? <laughs> oh boy, okay, all right, we're fine. We're doing great, we're doing great. We got no problems here. No problems whatsoever. Where's my, where's my pickaxe? <laughs> I can't, I can't, okay, I can't stick to that. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Get through here, just get through here. <laughs> all right, we're fine, we're doing great. <laughs> There's no, re it's a button floor? Oh no! <laughs> This is the worst possible timeline. Chat, don't worry about it. I still got 40 life elixirs. There's no reason to panic just yet. Okay. I'm 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 paying close and keen attention to my to my health. Button down right by the end. Button is south. 
button is button is right by the end or is it south? Hold on. Where did we see a button already? Did I miss it? Button down here. This is so cursed right now. Okay, button. I see no button. I missed it. South from the exit. Got you. Got you. Oof. <laughs> All right, I need to I need to lock five in my brain. Five is the hotkey for my for my life elixirs. South from the exit. Oh, it's over there. I see it. Okay, I got I got to cross the lava. Just give me a moment here. Give me a moment. All right, five. That's a certified five moment right there. Okay. Got the only button. Perfect. We're out of here. And I wasn't I wasn't even worried that whole time. I wasn't even worried. Okay, let me see. Two is my pickaxe, three is my watering can, five is my life elixirs. Top me up. Top me up and send me in, coach. I'm ready. Final exam. All right, button. Button spotted. What is shooting at me? I'm so scared. All right, I, I found the button. I have found the button. One is my sword. Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. This button's also useful. Get away from the slime. It's fine. Okay, we're making it. This is probably like one of the better floor layouts we could have gotten here, to be honest with you. Oh my gosh. Okay, five. Hit me with a five. I'm not. I'm not risking anything here. Chest on the right. There's so many buttons, dude. All right, that was, that was a 29 hit. I'm still not risking anything. Okay. We we have to. Do we go? Do we go back around for that chest? I think we do. I think I. I think I have to. I owe it to myself. And to all the little... All to, all, to all the fans at home. I feel betrayed. We're burning through life elixirs like they're five-hour energies out here. Okay. Okay, we can... Uh, yeah, I can get through there. That's not a problem. All right, it was three for the watering can, right? Okay. Top me up. This is... <laughs> there's no need to be stressed. Chat, do you trust me? Chat. Do you trust me right now? Do you do you trust me to to steer you right? Because I I've never led you astray so far. Tarot tubers. Okay. Um. <laughs> maybe I've led you slightly astray. All right. Currently incredibly nauseated from this zoom, so no, that's fair. Don't worry. We just have to make it to the end of this floor now. We've, we've already made it through. We just have to, to make it back. 13, 15. How much... What's my total... What's my total, like, max HP? I can take another hit. This much I know to be true. That was 10. All right, let's not risk it. You feel led astray? Chat, we're never going to do this again, so we have to enjoy it while we can. <laughs> For whatever you can enjoy whatever's happening right now with. Okay. Get me out of here, coach. I'm done. I'm gone. And it wasn't even hard. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's let's fix this. Let's 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 get back to normal, shall we? Perfect. Oh boy. Let's all take a, like take a moment, collectively step back, take a breather. In in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Out through your mouth. We're all good. We're all good. Exclamation point wiki trust? What do you mean no result found? <laughs> Why is it zoomed in? This is 100% zoom. This is what we normally play at. You thought we were friends? It's okay, chat. New, ch new challenge idea unlocked, though. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. I apologize for any undue duress I may have caused. Um, do you humbly accept this mummified bat as as recompense here? May I may I donate this mummified bat as an apology to you all? We made it out with the mummified bat. No, no. <laughs> what about an ostrich incubator? Would you accept an ostrich? Would you accept a brand new ostrich on our farm? New new ostrich friend on our farm as an apology? No, still no. I'll take it. <laughs> what do what do I have to do? <laughs> I have to get get on my hands and knees and plead, perchance. It's okay. 
We'll, we'll rebuild the trust over time, I promise. Either way, Professor Snail. Here's that little stinky bat. Ooh, look at you go. Ah, now this is a truly fad fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. Would you look at that? With this donation, we've got another full set completed. I got a little something waiting for you behind the counter. Ooh. Yo, cuts. I forgot there's a cutscene for this. We got there. Wow, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that's, you know, that's what most people were saying when they looked back, when they looked back on the past, like, ten minutes of the stream. Wow, dot, dot, dot. Look how far we've come. The collection looks fantastic. And it's all thanks to you, Beatrix. <laughs> you don't, you have no idea what I went through to complete this, Professor Snail. And I will never do it again. As a way of saying thanks, I want to teach you something. He's going to instruct me in the ways of the ostrich incubator. This device will allow you to raise ostriches back home. Just place the incubator in a barn, place an ostrich egg inside, and wait. Easy as that, huh? Hitting your hands on an ostrich egg is a different story, though. Don't worry. I'm sure, I'm sure we can figure that one out easily enough. He doesn't know. Chat, he doesn't know. <laughs> That was my choice. Exactly. And I, and I hope you would respect my choice. Give me my gold walnut here. I'm on my way. Alright. Deluxe pirate hat. Victory run. As we, as we run back home here. <laughs> Definitely named the ostrich apology. One of the choices of all time, for sure. Look, chat, I'm suffering right there alongside you. I have a headache from doing that. So, was it worth the headache? Kind of a little bit, but it was. Uh, I but I do I do have a headache. So, so I'm I'm right there with you. Oh my gosh! Hold on, quick hydration break. That'll help maybe. A well-deserved headache. All right. Let's go ahead and put this away. Actually, I guess I can bring the curiosity lure home with me. I guess we can just head home. There's no reason to sleep on the island. We can still make it back in time, I'm pretty sure. So let's just, uh, let's head on out of here. Take a nice, soothing voyage across the Gem Sea. Back home. And rest in our own bed. Alongside our own little pet cat. Yo, the Luna Luz. That's so adorable. Look at this. <laughs> Moonlight jelly hype. Aw. Oh, that makes me happy. That's just, that's just nice and peaceful. This this is the nice kind of peaceful respite we needed after after that volcano run for sure. A sea of stars. The dynamic reflections mod, it never misses. It never misses. Look at look at this. It's so good. Even without the glow ring, honestly, it's even better. You can just bask in the in the excuse me? Barney, we can't. If word got out, it would undermine my position of authority in the town. I mean we befriended both Marnie and Lewis. I guess I completely forgot this was the thing that would happen. Oh no. Right by the... Why Why am I just creeping behind the truck? I had to, like, work to get there. <laughs> you understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. But yes, I understand. We'll have to keep us a secret. Bro, it's been 24 years! <laughs> ah! Beatrix, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yes, and I'm going to tell everyone. I mean, it's not like there's an audience of a couple hundred people watching this right now. This is this can just be a secret between the three of us. So I'll, I'll keep it a secret, sure. You know, it's up. It's it's their secret. It's their choice. They gotta they gotta sort that out for themselves. Why are you hiding there anyway? Um, research. <laughs> Hey, nice gold statue you got back here, Lewis. Shh. 
she does deserve better. Lewis needs to needs to up his up his game for sure. He needs to be a a better guy for her. He needs to make some compromises. He needs to get over his like I don't know like his pride or whatever it is. You're telling everyone it's not even a like literally everybody knows it's so true. All right. Ooh, and I come home to a nice house full of diamonds. Looking like a diamond in the crystallarium. That's how I know I do I was doing the right thing. I came home and my game was like, you know what? Here's some diamonds and some iridium ore, some iridium bars. All these just nice things that for for doing such a great job out there in the volcano. Hashtag no regrets. Lewis is going to be on blast soon enough. People put Lewis on blast all the time, so it's he's no stranger to it. You know, if he's if he's going into politics, which I mean he's been in politics for a long time, then he's he's got to come to come to expect it and learn to live with it, right? Okay. As long as you don't give some of us nausea from Max Zoom again, I'll forgive you. Yeah, I mean I was starting to give myself nausea, so. <laughs> So I think it's going to be a while before I ever pull a stunt like that again. Okay. Let's go ahead and put away... Let me sort out my inventory here. Put, put all this away. Let's just get back to... Back back to some semblance of normalcy here. Coffee beans, hay. This feels right. Everything is right in the world once again. Oh, hey, I guess I can craft an ostrich incubator now, huh? <laughs> There's literally nothing stopping me from just doing that this very instant. 50 bone fragments, 50 hardwood, and 20 cinder shards. I stand corrected. <laughs> Wait, don't I have bone fragments on Ginger Island, though? I feel like I, I have those on Ginger Island. We'll at least get, like, a little bit ready here. I'm pretty sure I collected some. I remember... I remember doing that the other day when I was looking for the fossilized leg and stuff that I, that I still needed at the end of the last randomizer stream I think I got some so we'll go back to the island in a in a minute here but for now oh hey I, it's, it's a new year wait a second <laughs> I didn't even realize it's winter 28th what the heck when did that happen all right hold on we have a tradition then we have a tradition little ancient fruit jelly. Some coffee on as well, because why not? Gooey. Feeling a little gooey in this new year. New year, new me. Alright, everyone, get your party poppers, your fireworks, all those emojis locked and loaded. Don't type enter yet. We gotta do our countdown, our traditional New Year's countdown. Not only have we just gone into a new year recently in real life, but... But Beatrix's New Year, I mean, <laughs> it's maybe not as, maybe maybe comes around a bit more often than our than your classic New Year. And maybe we won't get to enjoy the 1.6 New Year celebration that Concerned Ape teased on on Twitter the other day. But for now, we'll just make our own New Year celebration. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, a four, a three, a two. A one happy year 25 everybody order of a century in we made it we have survived <laughs> we have survived so long through so many trials and tribulations over the past 24 years will 20 year 25 be any different who's to say who is to say nightbot's working off of outdated intel now hold on nightbot I got you. Exclamation point. Year. Year 25, baby. Lock it in. Do we have everything but the rest of the fragments? Yeah, we should have... Uh, we have all of it available to us now. I think the only thing we're missing is 50 bone fragments, right? Um, where's Ostrich Incubator? There it is. Okay, yeah, 50 bone fragments, so we just need another 18 of those. Easy enough. We also need somewhere to put the Ostrich Incubator. All of our barns are full, 
So in comes the question, do we build a new barn for ostriches? Or do we sell one animal and incubate an ostrich and just have just have an ostrich? <laughs> Honestly, you just want a new goal. This has been a very stressful goal, it's true. I'm also down for, for a new goal pretty soon here, but I also want to make sure we do our due diligence with this. I'm not just going to build an ostrich incubator and do nothing with it. We got to we gotta make it count here. We do have excessive barns, it's true. New barn full of ostriches. We don't have a... An auto. We have an auto petter. We don't have an auto, another auto grabber to facilitate a new barn. We could pretty easily go through Skull Cavern and try and get one. Do we have the ostrich eggs? We have one ostrich egg, <laughs> which is enough to make infinite ostrich eggs in the grand scheme of things. You can buy auto grabbers, but not until level ten farming. So we're we're a little ways away from that still. We're going to pull this one. While I go and get the bone fragments and stuff from Ginger Island, I'll, I'll pull you. All right. Should. Because we're, we're going to get an ostrich. Um, How should I even phrase this? Should we build a barn... Just for ostriches. Or just sell a cow to make room. <laughs> Very verbose poll question. All right, we're going to go ostrich barn as choice number one. Or sell cow as choice number two. Both have their pros and cons. I will leave it up to up to the masses to determine whether the pros pros or cons, like how they how they weigh out in the grand scheme of things here. Do keep in mind, we if we if we add another barn, it will necessitate more hay being used. We have currently have multiple silos adding up to 1440 hay. We probably have to build a new silo in order to keep up with, with demand. We're already burning through a lot of hay. So so do do keep that in mind. Do weigh that into your to your decision making process here. Ooh, it's very close. <laughs> the poll is very, very close. Alright, we also have to figure out what we're doing as far as crops go this spring. Did I put down grass starters this uh, this past winter? I did, I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're not worried about that at all. This run needs more insanity. <laughs> ostrich barn. Is ostrich barn that insane? Do people not normally build an ostrich barn at the first chance they get? In a, in a, in a traditional Stardew Valley playthrough? I'm so outside the loop. That I don't even know. I don't even know what casual player like meta is anymore. The vote is incredibly close. It's so close that I don't even. It's I hate it when it's like 50 50 because then you know you're gonna like you're gonna disappoint half of people no matter which option you go with. Just one ostrich will be lonely. I don't think one ostrich would be lonely because we have so many other farm animals. An ostrich does not necessarily need more ostriches to socialize with. It can you can socialize with the with the goats and the cows and the blue chickens with the best of them. It's technically not 50-50, you're right. It's it's 54-46. <laughs> My mistake. We also only have one pig, and that pig is happy. Two ostriches is a good number. We could just we could go two ostriches. We could have a have a little like medley of a barn. Like we we do have a lot of cows. Do I need to decide right now though? Technically no, but I mean, 
But while the ostrich incubator is on my mind, I feel like it's a good time to decide. Let me at least, I mean, speaking to the ostrich incubator, incubator, let's go and get it built. Step one of the process at the very least here. Sell a cow from the pig barn. Maybe a new barn with just two ostriches. <laughs> I feel like that would be the loneliest possible option. We want to f either fill up the, the barn with all ostriches or or put the ostriches that we do have in a barn with other animals so they are at least like not lonely. Yeah, Chikorio ST. It's uh it's been it's been on the stream playlist for a hot minute. I love it. You think I can afford the hay? <laughs> I mean, I, there's no problem with affording the hay, it's true. But it does add a lot of overhead just to like like mental overhead, you know what I mean? All right, bone fragments, you can come home with me. Anything else I want to bring home here? I guess I'll bring this gold coconut. I'm going to leave the rest for right now. Surprised they don't have the warp totems. Technically, I am allowed to craft warp totems now. At, at least island warp totems. But dragon teeth are in pretty short supply. So I'm still, you know, a little hesitant to, to use them. Craft it here. We could roll the walnut room. <laughs> I mean, you know, we do have everything now. This is this 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 facilitates a new goal. Maybe that'll that'll guide us in the right direction here. Ostrich incubator successfully crafted. Look at it. Look at look upon my ostrich incubator and weep. I must be placed in a barn. What if the ostriches want a beach vacation? <laughs> All right. Well. Fair enough. All right. Hold on. I gotta. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. I was gonna go grab my notepad so I could write down a new, write down new goals and stuff. But, but then the music was like, no, no, no. You roll that new goal and you roll it now while the bees are on your side. My apologies for thinking I could I could take a moment away. B underscore boss dot ogg has has realigned me with the truth here. All right. It's time for a B blessed goal. Are y'all ready for a new goal for the first time? Well, not in a while, actually. The ostrich incubator did not take that long, surprisingly enough. Blessed by the beauty that is B underscore boss dot OGG and the myriad B emojis. Spam your B emojis while you got the chance. The song does not last long. Can I get an F5? You got it. You got it, Mobby. Hold on a second. Hold on. F5 for the refresh. Okay. I, it has been refreshed. I don't see. I don't notice anything particularly different myself, but but I trust you on this. All right. Craft an ostrich incubator. We got it. We got to do it. We got to do it now. All right. Finished goal. Thirty point nine percent. Lock it in. Generate a goal at the very end of the song here. Cook a cranberry candy. <laughs> do bees like cranberries? They probably would, right? Bees, bees like sweet things and, and cranberries. Once you like, if you prepare them the right way, they'd probably be pretty sweet. Like cranberries on their own are like super bitter. I know that, but. Super bitter, not sweet, but bees would pollinate them all the same. They like the candy. Ooh, we got a little stuck button up here. Ooh. I'm a little, little, Mobby and I were talking about that. I, I don't know what's beyond the stuck button. I'm not currently stuck right now, but, but I am, I am curious. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, I got my notepad now. Write this down. Cranberry candy. Yeah, me too, Benny. I love, I love Celeste music as well. Lena Rain doesn't miss. I believe the uh, the stuck button gives like tips based on like particularly 
difficult situations, yes. Cranberries aren't bitter, they're tart. Same thing, as far as I'm concerned. So cranberry candy should be highly doable. Cranberry candy, we need cranberries, apple, and sugar. I think that is, that is more than palatable. How's our poll looking, by the way? 54% of voters would like an ostrich barn. It's not enough of a super majority to convince me. Like, setting up an ostrich barn is a pretty big endeavor. I don't know that I'm willing to commit to it. Off the back of a 54, 55% vote. There's no room. I mean, there's all we can always make room. Making room for the barn itself is not a problem. I think, you know, as excited as I was at the potential of an ostrich barn, maybe we can expand to an ostrich barn in the future. But for now, I think maybe we can find some kind of a compromise. Like, we don't necessarily have to stick to just one ostrich. We can have multiple ostriches. We can just start with one. But I think setting it up in a barn is probably... We gotta get another pig so we can have at least two of each animal. I respect that, but I also worry about, about the possible truffle blockade that awaits me. I already struggle enough with, with one pig digging up truffles and causing me undue duress. I don't know if I'm willing to take on another one. Completely clear out a cow barn. I couldn't possibly... I don't think I have it in me to sell all of the cows from a single barn to make it... to turn it into an ostrich barn. I guess that is a possibility. Before we do anything else, I do want to buy some seeds here just so we... I mean, Pierre is going to close before too long, so we got to go ahead and get some uh, some seeds on dock here. What are we planting this this season? What if we just go? What if we just do like cauliflowers? What if we just do like a big field of cauliflower? We could do we could do flowers as well. It's been a while since we've done any flowers. Although the flowers do cause a bit of a nightmare when it comes to to inventory. <laughs> Parsnips? We could do a field pull of, full of parsnips. Cauliflower? Hardy har har. All green beans. <laughs> That's the most chaotic evil suggestion I've ever heard. Maybe chaotic neutral? Full, full field of bean starters? How do we feel about that? A full field of bean starters instead of... <laughs> that seems so bad. That seems so bad. Alright, fine. Hundred and thirty-eight bean starters incoming. <laughs> the Junimos won't have any problem with it. We're gonna be a little bit uh, stumped if we need to get into the middle, though. Just don't trap yourself. Oh, we'll be fine. I'm, I, I'm not worried. <laughs> I just have to, you know, I just have to be diligent about how I place them. If I just do it row by row, there shouldn't be any kind of problem, right? Just one row at a time. If no ostrich barn, bean farm. <laughs> Por que no los dos? Why not both? All right, here we go. We just go one, one row at a time. I'm not gonna be able to like get to these chests very easily. I literally can't get to that chest over there without like moving my my Junimo, I guess. Okay. Normally, I just run around and place seeds all willy nilly. I don't get I don't get the the opportunity to do that here. I also gotta be careful not to like box in a spot that I can't reach. I want to make sure to get all, like, the, the farthest in little corners first. 
Okay. This is more surgical than I'm used to having with uh, with placing seeds. I'll go back for that spot. We can still hit that spot over there. This is just... Man. I feel like... Th I feel like there's got to be, like... Qu there's, a, there's a number of people... Turn on harvesting. Is harvesting on? I should make sure harvesting is on. Harvesting is on. Harvesting is on. There's bound to be some people out there who were playing Stardew Valley for the first time ever. And they were like, ooh, green beans. I kind of want to grow green beans. And they did th like exactly this. They just planted a field full of like green green bean trellises. But they didn't have the Junimo huts to, to actually make it work. So... <laughs> So they, they learned quickly that trellis crops are, you know, maybe more trouble than they're worth sometimes. There's guaranteed to be at least a few Stardew, Stardew novices who did that at some point in the past. Takes me back, man. Hops for summer, grapes for fall. The year of the trellis. Kind of feels like I'm putting the Junimos in jail, but but they can get past the trellises, so it's really not that bad. Okay. Focus, focus. Don't don't mess it up now. We're so close to completion here. Talking about me. Raise your hand if you feel seen right now, with this beautiful <laughs> green bean layout. Now to fertilize it all? Oh, no, no, no. Alright, perfect. We did it. That's... Um, I can't even get the full field in view, because I can't get to the middle of the field to view it. <laughs> Alright. 57% of people want an ostrich barn. That's... I mean, it's, ten, it's trending upwards. More people now want an ostrich barn than not. I could zoom out. I guess that's true. <laughs> Let me end the poll here. Timed with the cursed music and everything. I think for now... I think for now I'm going to... I'm going to veto the... Also, I'm going to unpin the ostrich incubator goal. That's not my jam right now. I think I'm going to veto the ostrich barn for right now. I think I'm going to start with one ostrich in one of the barns and, and move along from there. I hope I'm not disappointing too many people with that with that take. Maybe there's a future in which... I mean, let's let's start with one ostrich, see how we feel about the ostrich. And we can... And we can go from there. Maybe we love ostriches, maybe we don't love ostriches. I don't know yet. I think we we tested out with one ostrich. Like like that's the thing, right? You know, if you're just if you're just getting into like uh if you're if you're just getting into something for the first time, you don't want to dive headlong. It's, if you're going swimming with the ostriches, you're not gonna jump into the Marianas trench full of full of feathered long neck birds. And I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and sell something and <laughs> make room for the ostrich. Um, this is already a pretty multitudinous barn right here. There's there's one of every animal except a pig. Over here, we've got pig and cow and just a bunch of cows. Nothing but cows. There's just a cow house out there on the horizon. <laughs> Piggy gets a bird buddy. I don't know. Like we've got like like in this barn we've got we've got Kahoot the goat. In this in this barn up here we've got uh, we've got a single a single pig mixing things up. We got Gauss the pig. And over here we got uh, I mean this this one's mixed so it's a little bit not quite the same. But maybe we throw the ostrich in here to balance things out. Pig and bird best of friends. That's our oldest barn of cows. All right, fine. You know what?
know, I've been persuaded with the... I feel, I feel like Gauss and our new ostrich friend could get along quite nicely. We have to decide who we're selling, though. All right, chat. Who, who are we selling here? Um, I think I have enough farming XP leeway. Let me just pet, pet you. Ram, Ramanujan is trying to sleep. All right, I can't sell them when they're trying to sleep. We'll have to come back tomorrow. All right, fair enough. But at least, I, wait, I can get their names. New tech unlocked? I can learn their... I can find out their names without actually gaining any farming XP. Ramanujan is trying to sleep. Who are we going to commit to selling? Ramanujan? X? Y Euler? Is it this... Megalovania? <laughs> do, we, do we there sell Megalovania? Logarithm? Rhombus? Obtuse? Probabilitor! <laughs> Pythagoras? Fibonacci? Or she? Do we sell she? <laughs> <laughs> sell X? X? Or selling X? Many people are saying to sell X. Sounds like a math problem, honestly. <laughs> sell X of what? She or X? Definitely sell X. People are not in favor of X. <laughs> Chat! Wait! It's the ultimate... It's the ultimate um, societal commentary. We sell X to put a bird into the barn. We're replacing X with the, we're bringing the bird back. Bring the bird back. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, X, where are you? Where, where's X, which one is X? All right, X, nothing against you as a cow. I'm sure you're amazing, but, but it's what you represent. I'm sorry, Twitter's coming back, baby. <laughs> All right, it's a brown cow. X is a brown cow. That's that's the only thing I really need to remember right now. Exclamation point current events. Do we name the ostrich Twitter? That's the ultimate question, right? Get some... Yo, Cygnus, what's that emoji? Get the Twitter bird emoji out here. This is, now's the time. Bring the Twitter bird back in ostrich form. Close the door. Oh, that's a good call. I should close the door. Yeah. <laughs> that way they're not all out and about roaming when I when I come to try and uh and sell X. Alright, it was it was this one. Correct? I'm not mixing up my barns. Alright. That's <laughs> so good. Twitter is a great name for an ostrich, but you don't get the joke. It's probably for the best that you don't get the joke, Lisa. It means you're not as as terminally online as I am. I'm I'm much too invested in the in the Twitter X lore. <laughs> no, I'm not really invested in it. It's just I'm cognizant of it. I've kept up I've kept up with it. Twitter apology. Oh no. All right, hold on a minute. I want to swap out my combined ring here back for my glow ring just so we have a little bit of night light to work with there we go love to see it all right let's go ahead and grab our little baby bird egg we've got a, a naked table over there now i'm sure we'll find something else to put on it and i guess now we can also focus on the goal at hand <laughs> hold on cranberry Cranberries? Do I have apples in here already? I do have apples. That should be cranberry candy then, right? Boom. Done. Alright, cranberry candy officially cooked. In case... I know in the in the midst of all this ostrich cow x Twitter talk, we may have forgotten, but this was our goal at the end of the day here, so... So there we go. Cranberry candy successfully cooked. And we've got enough time to still roll a new goal and potentially... Potentially get one we can actually complete here if we get like a crafting or a cooking goal or something. Maybe get something nice and easy that way. Let's go find out. Tailoring time? Ooh, I bet it, I bet a cranberry candy tailors into something kinda kinda nice. Good thought, Savon. Good thought. But for now, how do you guys feel about a new goal here? Moving on up to 31%. Get some 31s in chat. 31s. Raise your hand if the randomizer percentage is officially older than you are. All right. 
I'll take a quick hydration break here and then generate myself a new goal. What do we got? No, don't. I don't want to feel bad. We're, there's no age shaming around here. Whether you're older or younger or the same age as the randomizer percentage, there's there's no shame in it. I promise you. All right, here we go. Three, a two, a one. Catch the angler, the master angler. <laughs> well, that's a that's a fall jam. We're we're gonna have to sleep for a few seasons on this one, but. Should not be that bad. <laughs> Should not. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the, there. Could, there could. It could have been worse. This could have been a lingcod. All right, angler, writing it down. Lock it in. Second legendary fish that we've caught. That we will have caught after after we complete this goal. Gonna master the angler. Yo, oh, it's just like in the video. It's just like in the video. <laughs> magic bait time. If we had access to magic bait, that would absolutely be the play end story. But unfortunately, we are without magic bait. And we will be probably for a little while yet. <laughs> depending on when, when we get the walnut room goal. In the meantime, though... See what kind of drip we get out of this cranberry candy. What do you say? That's not how you do that. That's that's how you do that. Make me a nice red shirt. Ooh, red striped shirt. I think we actually already have this one. <laughs> oh well. Yep. Double red striped shirt. Anyone want to be twinsies? All right. Gonna go ahead and lock in the day here. It's Waldo, baby. Curiosity. We could use the Curiosity Lure, yeah, actually. No, actually we can't because we don't have a high enough fishing level to get the Iridium Rod, so... Curiosity Lure is gonna have to stay... Stay by the wayside for now. Alright. Waldo the Ostrich? I'm a little too committed to Twitter the Ostrich right now. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see how we feel once once our new ostrich chick actually hatches. All right. Which one of you is X? One of you brown cows. How now, brown cow? It's oh, it's you. You're hiding in the corner. You're trying to avoid my 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 sight. No, that's rhombus. My apologies. Euler. Probabilitor would never sell you. Pythagoras. Bad in a thousand out here. We got two more to check. Literally the last brown cow. You were very well hidden back here, X. I'm sorry. 63 months of X. <laughs> Literally the last one. So good. <laughs> oh, well, it's a step towards our next farming level when we roll that goal. X looks really happy today. I bet, I, I bet you do, but I think he'll be even happier in the hands of a... of someone else. <laughs> I think I think there's a better home for you than here in Stardew Valley, X. I feel like you have you can aspire to even greater things. Let their name not not tarnish their reputation here. 07 to X. You gave us 63 long loving months of high quality milk. You were a great part of the of the farm here. Thank you so much for your service. I wish you all the best. And whatever future endeavors you may have, social media related or otherwise. Say hi to Elon for me. There we go. Alright. Gonna go ahead and plop down a little ostrich incubator right over there. Drop a... Drop our new egg in there. Ooh! <laughs> it fits so snugly. And now we wait. How long do we wait? I don't remember, but... We're going to be sleeping for most of the next little while anyway, so it'll it'll happen before we know it. I think it's like a week, right? I think it's like one week for the, uh, for the ostrich to hatch, something like that. Ten days. 
Let them- oh yeah, I should let them out. I need to let them outside. Good call, good call. I'm so- I'm so not used to opening and closing the barn doors, I completely forgot. This is why it's important to- to stream this stuff, because I would've- I would've totally left that barn closed for the next, like, few years, probably. <laughs> Without you guys to- to point me in the right direction, so thank you for that. Bro, this is a literal dead end here. I can't even go up this way anymore. Not unless I get rid of that torch, I guess. X returning to the files. Is this on a fresh save? This, I mean, we started this challenge on year one, day one, just like everybody else does, yeah. So this is a... Uh, no, it's no longer really a fresh save. I don't know, it's, it's, you know, it's still fresh to me. It remains fresh in the, in the hearts and brains of, of many people. Many people are saying this. We've been around the block. <laughs> is the beach palm preferred for randomizer runs? It is, yeah. Because of, like, supply... At least for, for me, there's, like, the supply crates are definitely a big thing. They're a big factor. The beach farm just being as big as it is as well, so you don't have to worry as much about, like, debris spreading and consuming everything. It hel That helps a lot. There's a lot of advantages to the beach farm. All right. Well, I guess we just, uh... I guess we just sleep now, right? Little Betty by time. Should go by a bit faster than our traditional sleeping journeys because we don't have to worry about going out and like befriending someone. That's uh that's something we don't have to worry about at all this time. We can just go out, take care of our daily chores, and uh and come back on in. You haven't even crafted a wooden chest, it's so true. You'd never guess it, looking at our house, we already ha we have plentiful wooden chests, although we do also have one fridge that contains all of our mining equipment. But, uh, we've done pretty well without, without having been able to craft a chest yet. Ooh, roasted hazelnuts. Happy birthday, Ken. I will not be going out of my way to give you a birthday present today. But I'm sure there are many other Stardew Valley players who will, so... I'm in, in, in some other space, in some other timeline, you're doing alright. Added one piece of hay to the silo. And now is when the banter can start flowing. We no longer need to talk about the game. We can start talking about non-game related topics until I can sleep to, to fall and start fishing for the angler here. How are you guys doing, chat? Are you up to anything exciting? Any any new activities in your lives that you would like to regale me with? Any new hobbies? New hobbies, old hobbies, new developments? New exciting adventures? Nah, my life is boring. <laughs> Honestly, fair. Fair, also kind of same. Is soup boba or not? I don't think soup is boba. Because boba is a specific thing. And soup might have the same, like, formula as boba. But it's not boba in and of itself. The archipelago randomizer? I've been keeping my eye on that. I might have to... Have to dive in at some point. Cross stitching again? That's hype. I wouldn't mind getting into cross stitching at some point. That could be a fun little hobby. I always feel like I need more of a hobby, but then I like think about it and I'm and I'm just like I don't have enough time to to commit to a hobby <laughs> these days. Like I'm always either working or well, I guess, I guess my hobby is, like, playing video games, but my but playing video games also constitutes a certain degree of work for me, so... So there's kind of, like, a weird overlap there. Not that I would ever have it any other way, but it's, uh... <laughs> it's definitely, you know, it makes... It confuses my brain, for sure. It's like, I can play games, like, in my, in my free time and still, still enjoy the process, but... My brain is also like, how can I how can I spin this into a stream concept or something like that?
Any AGDQ or SGDQ watchers out there? Archipelago, Ar Archipelago reminded you of that. Was Archipelago... Like, Archipelago, it's like not... It's not specifically a Stardew randomizer. It's like a randomizer for like many different games. It's like an Omni randomizer, right? It's like a program you can use to, to randomize a whole, a whole host of games. Hey there, Zeta. Welcome on in. And Stardew just happens to be among them. Am I just using an un unfathomably large wheel? We're using a sophisticated randomizer, like, like custom-built code to decide the the tasks and everything for, for this randomizer, the perfection randomizer that I'm doing. I made the initial, like, Google spreadsheet version of it, the prototype version of the randomizer, and then Mobby19, wonderful member of the community, has refined it into the into the website that is much more user-friendly and accessible that you can find in the description right now if you want to start your own randomizer journey. I love the wheel visual, though. That would be kind of fun to just be able to spin, like, a monstrously large wheel for our next task. That would be pretty great, too. Yeah, you could suffer, too. You can suffer as little or as much as you want. There's, there's hardcore mode and there's standard mode of the randomizer. Both with their own, both with their own, like, unique play styles that you can delve into. Truly it is one of the randomizers of all time. One of, one of the greatest, in my opinion, just because I find it very fun. I find Stardew very fun. <laughs> Lots of newcomers in here today. We've been getting lots of newcomers with uh, with most of the recent streams, which I should have expected with how the Master Angler fishing video has been uh, has been popping off lately. But but I was I wasn't prepared for it. I'm seeing lots of new names. If you're if you're new here in the stream today, just popping in because like you watched that video and you saw I was live and you're like, oh hey, I wonder what that's all about. I like that video. Maybe I'll see what. Uh, what else this guy gets up to? Well, welcome on in. I'm happy to have you here. Hope you hope you brought snacks. Hope you brought enough to share with the rest of the class. But <laughs> but other than that, now you're you're amongst good company here. If you if you enjoyed that video, if you got a thrill out of seeing that challenge being completed and just and challenge runs in general, then you're in the right place. Air Goon came from that video too. It's so good. Thank you very much. I pre I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just so I'm so amazed just how much how good that video's response has been. I get you know what's weird though is that I get a lot of comments on the video that are um like most of the comments are are amazing. They're like they're very very nice, heartfelt, sweet comments. Um, talking about how much they like the editing, or the story, or the challenge itself, whatever the case may be, and I appreciate all of those greatly. But there's a, there's a, like, a subset of comments that always baffle me a little bit when I see one roll in. Is someone will comment something to the effect of, like, No, I don't really think this is possible. Like, they'll, they'll just, like, leave a comment, like, like, they see that the video, I mean, it makes sense in concept, right? If you, if you try and wrap your head around it a little bit, they'll come into the video, they'll see the title is, Can you catch all, ev every fish in Stardew Valley in one in-game day? And they're like, oh, well, I'm gonna think about that for a second. No, nah, it seems like that would be pretty impossible, and they comment something to that effect. And I guess they just don't watch the video from that point on, or they just, like, don't, or maybe they do, and they just they just leave the comment there anyway. I mean, no spoilers, but I I mean, it, it might behoove people who are commenting that to watch the video. Is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Tuna, I am I am mostly healed up from my previous sickness, but I actually might have a second sickness coming on. I can definitely feel myself getting congested. Or they don't believe it's real. That's the other thing. Maybe they think I, like, faked it or cheated or something like that. Which, I mean, I didn't. I posted the uncut version, and that's about the best I can do to hopefully prove to you that it was a, a legit run. But, 
I don't know what else you want from me. Unless you want me to go and perform the Master Angler challenge, do like a, a repeat of it, catch every fish once again live on stream right now. <laughs> Release the code. Yeah, I know most most people are are able to just accept that it was a it's it's a legit playthrough. There's there's nothing nefarious going on there, I can assure you. What is the challenge? This challenge here or the Master Angler Challenge? Because I think, Rebel, you came from the Master Angler Challenge video, so you probably know that one. The challenge we're doing on stream here, exclamation point randomizer, if you want the, the full breakdown of what's going on here, because it's, uh, it's a little complicated to explain sometimes. Think I'll do it again with the second set of legendary fish? There's definitely a part of me that wants to. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until 1.6 drops at the very least and see if there are any new fish that get added in version 1.6. I would not be surprised in the slightest. And uh and maybe the Master Angler will have a redux at some point. We'll see. But <laughs> Only time will tell, really. There was one comment in particular that was sort of in that vein that really kind of made me... It, it was a head-scratcher. And I don't want to I don't want to bring it up too much because I believe they have since deleted the comment So I think they came to their senses a little bit more, but basically someone posted a comment that was uh, They were breaking down all the math of like here's how stardew valleys like random Here's how like the RNG work function of stardew valley works Here is like how often you can catch a fish breaking it down like the numbers and statistics and everything and they and they're like based on all these reasons and if you just do the math there is physically not possibly enough time in a single day for you to be able to catch every single fish in the game so no the answer is no it's not possible it was like a literally like a multi-paragraph breakdown of the math r slash they did the math but i don't know where they got their numbers from because none of the numbers were were right <laughs> so i don't know if they were working off of just you know a surface level interpretation of of stardew valley like randomness and math i don't know but uh it was it was kind of amazing i was i was halfway tempted to reply to it and be like well that's weird <laughs> given the outcome of the video that's a little weird that it's, that it's physically mathematically impossible Maybe a troll? It could have been a troll, but they also deleted their comment after the fact. So either maybe they were a troll that like felt like guilty, or they like posted that comment, watched the video, and realized like that they had gotten a lot of stuff wrong, and they were just like, oh well, let me just you know get rid of this so I don't look like a, uh, so I don't like like look like an ignorant person. <laughs> Which you know, fair play to them. Fair play to them for like going and deleting the comment and and realizing the error of their ways. Some people would have stuck to their guns and been like, nah, I was right the whole time, this guy cheated, or something like that. But but no, they, they watched it, they came to the conclusion that they must have gotten something wrong in their initial analysis of the problem. And uh, and I hope they learned a thing or two from, from that experience. Twitter ready to hatch? Oh, I guess I do have to go to the barn in order for, uh, for my ostrich to hatch, right? It's not just gonna, like, tell me that... that that it hatched at the uh, at the outset here. Maybe it will. I don't know. Hold on. I just gotta sneak into the barn if you don't mind. A new ostrich chick has hatched. It's a big one, as as most ostrich chicks are. Bobo. <laughs> nah, Bobo's already. Uh, that name's already taken. Heck yeah. Is is it is it Twitter? I feel like Twitter is the only way here. X has been sold off into the ether and rising from the ashes of its of of their passing. Twitter comes back to life. We did it. Chat, we did it. Twitter Jr. <laughs> Twitter Jr. What about Twitter 2? Twitter 2 this the sequel.
have to be legally distinct tweeter? Blue Sky Mastodon? What about... Twitter? <laughs> Twitter, is this legally distinct enough? Twitter. That's too similar to another word. What about this one? What about Twitter? <laughs> there you go. Yo, Twitter and Tumblr had a baby? I think we're just going to go with Twitter, honestly. I, I think Twitter, it's, it's, it's just classic. It's perfect. Twitter. Twitter has arrived. Look at you, Twitter. Oh! <laughs> Twitter one month old baby. Not even, how, how are you one month old? You just hatched today. Twitter seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to the new home. Don't worry, we're not going to let anything happen to you, Twitter. <laughs> you are safe amongst us here. What is going on here? Are you alright? <laughs> Do you need help? Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Thank goodness. I was a little worried about that, that, that truffle head. <laughs> had trapped you down there somehow. I was, I was about to mount an emergency rex rescue mission for, for that blue chicken. Saving private chicken. Chat, by the way, how are we playing a game that has blue chickens in it? And somehow the bird that we, that we named Twitter is not a blue chicken. <laughs> That's kind of... A, it's a sub subversion of the trope. I'm, pr I'm proud of us. <laughs> oh no, wait. It's alright, we can... Maybe we can just die... We can, we can die Twitter Blue at some point. Name a blue chicken X? That would be the ultimate power play, honestly. Rebel, if you like what you see, if you think Stardew might be up your alley, then I would definitely recommend giving it a go. It's it's a popular game for a reason. Name the Void Chicken X. Yo, blue chicken bag and a Twitter logo phone case. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. The Twitter logo is so good. It's just, like, so utterly iconic. Chat, do you think it's true that there are no original ideas anymore? That, that we've exhausted the supply of original ideas? That literally every possible idea that can be had has been had, and we're just, like, working with, you know variations on on those ideas these days no no it seems like a bit of a bleak take right like I, i've i've heard that a lot of the time that's you know like i mean i could i think i can understand the principle that all ideas are built out of other ideas but I don't think that makes those ideas that, that you build unoriginal. I think it just makes them, you know, it, it makes, it's, it, they're still original, even if they're like, you know, combined parts. Like, you don't have to like, go and recreate everything, like all the components of the thing that you're making in order for the thing that's been made to become original, right? Whoever said that just lacks imagination. Like, otherwise, like, there, there can't be any original creations. Dragon Tooth? I'm a little wary of my fishing XP, though, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Dragon Tooth for right now, I think. There are seven stories with seven billion different ways to tell them. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, especially once you break it down into, like, stories and stuff, there's definitely, um... 
there's that you know there's definitely like story formulas like certain formulas that work but you can also like change those up subvert them in a certain way and and have a whole new whole new to story told in a certain way i've always been of the opinion that even if you tell a story that's been told a million times before even if it's like the idea itself is not that inherently original the way you're telling it is significantly more important than the actual like content of the story itself right every to every story concept out there can be told in an, in an incredible engaging immersive way or in a like shallow disappointing terrible way right it's it's really it really comes down to whoever's crafting the story and how much effort and time they put into to making it count and how much passion they have behind it by and large that is uh that is what's gonna make or break the story not the actual like oh well a knight's going to save a princess from a dragon and guess what he kills the dragon and saves the princess and they all live happily ever after like you know you can tell that story in so many different ways with so many different styles of characters and so many little twists and turns to make it to make it your own even if all the major story beats are going to be the same I don't know. Turn the princess into like a turnip or something. I, maybe there's <laughs> maybe, maybe you know, maybe take that one back to the drawing board actually. Turn the princess into a stone owl even. And there's a, there's there's maybe something to be had there. Get some get some owl emojis in chat. Hooty hoot hoot. Hooty, a new hooty has arrived. New hooty on the block. We got to go find him. Princess Turnip is a cute idea. <laughs> is this... Oh my gosh, look look, look at this beautiful island. Was, you know, we got all this different forage and stuff. This is this is a nice little tropical getaway right here. Is this our new hootie? I feel like, I feel like this is a new hootie. The westernmost hootie, this side of the... This side of Grampleton. This feels... This feels new. <laughs> hootie hoot hoot hoot. Seaweed hootie. Hootie queen of seaweed. I love it. And banana pudding. It's a good spot. I do I do enjoy our proclivity towards just leaving the stone owls where they land these days as opposed to moving them to, to distinct locations. There's a time there's a time and a place to do that for sure, to like build a to build a hootie shrine of some kind, but but I kind of like the the vibe of just leaving them where they landed. It's so much fun. You love how many statues we we there have been a lot of statues. I mean, exclamation point year to see just like how long we've been around here, and uh, it shouldn't be any surprise the amount of statues that we currently have is pretty wild. Who's Tim Beeb? <laughs> Yo, I didn't even think about that. So many people don't know the lore of uh, of Tim Beeb and and Chloe. Well, actually, you probably know a little bit more about the lore of Chloe than you do about the name Tim Beeb if you if you came from the Master Angler video because Chloe is featured pretty prominently in that one. Tim Beeb is is as well, just not really by name. Tim Beeb is is Chloe's pet dog though. It's true. Tim Beeb is also a donut. That is also val a valid interpretation. And Pi is Beatrix's pet cat. Yeah, Pi. We got Pi and Iota. There are many names to keep track of. It's understandable if you're if you're new coming into the lore of the streams and the channel and everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot to learn, but. I'm sorry to say, you're just gonna, you're, you better learn it because it's gonna be on the exam next week. So, what do you mean you haven't studied it all? Chat, you have to study. The exam is next week. Did I not tell you that? I'm pretty sure I told you that at some point. I hope you're, I hope you're well prepared. I'm get, I, you know, at least you've got a whole nother week left to study here. So, and before you wake up tomorrow and a week has passed and you're like, I didn't study, no. <laughs> 
Is it an open video test? Sure, but I mean, you got you got quite a few hours of video to to sift through if you want to find the right answers. Chao OG, welcome on in. Hello, hello. You haven't taken an exam in ten years? Well, then there's no better time. You got to brush up on your exam taking skills. I'll deliver you your Scantron personally. It's okay. It's at least a multiple choice test. So it's like, you know, you can at least fudge your way to 25%. Hold on, just taking a quick hydration break. Chat, how many of you have heard the 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 rumor? I don't know how much credence there is to this idea that on a Scantron, if you don't know the answer, you should just guess C because C is the most commonly uh like is the most common answer in a multiple choice format. You've heard that? Don't know if it's true. Longest answer or C? No, no. What's what's a Scantron? A Scantron is like a it's like a form. It's like a a long form that just has like basically a bunch of numbers with like A, B, C, D next to it, and you use it to like fill out a multiple choice test. Depends on how the teacher is. Yeah, I mean it depends on where you're sourcing the test from for sure. But I I have heard that like urban legend, that playground rumor that the letter C. Like when in doubt, just go with the letter C. Alternatively, if one of the answers, if like, if it's like a multiple choice qu question and D, D or E or whatever the last one is, says all of the above, go all of the above. I find it's like, if you have a question where one of the answers is all of the above, there's an 80% likelihood that the answer is all of the above. Because what they'll do is they'll make all the other answers sound so compelling. Like, you'll start reading through the answers, because obviously, most people, when they take the test, they read, like, the answers from top to bottom, like, A to D, A to D. And so you'll start reading, and you'll be like, A. You'll read answer A, and you'll be like, oh, wait, that sounds right, so it's probably answer A. And then you'll read answer B just to be safe, and then you'll be like, wait, answer B sounds right, too. Oh, no, maybe I don't know much, as much about this as I thought. Then you read answer C. And your and your your brain is melting, right? You're like, wait, answer C sounds just as correct. Am I not smart anymore? Do I did I not study well enough? Do I not know what's going on here? And then you get to D, and it says all of the above, winky face. And you're like, ah, uh, you, you you almost got me with this one. You almost had me, <laughs> lol. And then you just throw on throw in all of the above and move on to the next question. What is the what is the meaning of life? And you gotta figure that one out. The meaning of life, could it be all of the above? Depends on all the answers, honestly. <laughs> you had a teacher once give you a test where the instructions were literally write your name down and hand this in. The people who answered questions failed. <laughs> See, that seems like that seems kind of mean spirited. It depends on it depends on the class and on the test and on the situation, but. <laughs> It is kind of funny, though. And the best part of that joke, that test counted for 70% of your grade. The ultimate, the ultimate prank. Lol, got him. The, te the teacher so owned all those students. <laughs> oh, could you imagine, though? Could you imagine? There can also be none of the above. I find that none of the above is still most commonly the answer if it's an option there, but I feel like all of the above supersedes it. I feel I feel like like I said probably like 80% of all of the above questions the answer is going to be all of the above. I feel like that percentage drops to like 65% with none of the above. And, and, you know, 
Yoba, help your poor soul if there's all of the above and none of the above. <laughs> I can't help you from the, at that point. Those are the questions that uh, that even the teachers fear. If if you've got a five choice multiple 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 choice question and the last two go all of the above and none of the above, only <laughs> you're gonna have to start praying. I'm sorry, it's the only way. It's the only way out, unless you actually know the answer. The order of man's answer matters on all on the all or none questions, though. That would be so. That would be so. It would hurt my brain if it was like answer A, B, C, and then answer D was none of the above, and then answer E was all of the above. I would be I would be legitimately upset at the formatting of that question if that's the way they did it. And then what if the answer was E? What if it was all of the above? And then you make the argument, well, technically none of the above is also above all of the above, so it can't be that, right? Because it's a logical contradiction. And there and then the teacher is like, you're not supposed to read it that way. You're supposed to think of all of the above as like all the like top three answers. And like, that's not what all of the above literally means. Why would you format it like this? I can't. <laughs> Schrodinger's multiple choice question. Yeah, there should never be a world where they put none of the above above all of the above. But I don't doubt that that's happened at some point, and it's been like a total mistake, and it's just, you know, it's it's thrown some students off. And the good ending of that scenario is that, like, that question just doesn't count for that test, or the whole test gets, like, thrown out because it's a sham. But, <laughs> but the bad ending is that you were supposed to put all of the above. And you just didn't. And the teacher is like, well, too bad. F. <laughs> Literal F. Get some Fs in chat. Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna mute myself for a minute. My nose is getting a little runny again, so I'm just gonna take a moment to blow my nose. Chat, hold on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I am I back? Chat, I went on a I went on an adventure without you. I'm sorry. I went I went some something strange happened. I don't know what hap what does chat Okay. What does <laughs> Alright. No, you can't hear me. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for the perfectly understandable information. You're gone. Chat. Okay, let me just ask you an a, a question. What does F12 do? <laughs> what is what does F12 traditionally do? What is it supposed to do? Like just F12 on its own. F12 does save as developer mode, Steam Steam screenshot. I was not clicked onto Steam. I wasn't clicked onto the game. I was clicked onto like OBS or something. I don't know where I was clicked onto necessarily. I guess it depends on what what thing you're clicked onto, right? Cause here here's what happened. Here's how it went in my brain. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing playing the game now, by the way. Um here's here's how it went. I had to mute my microphone in order to um 
in order to sneeze and blow my nose and 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 get it all cleaned up because it was all drippy. So I did that. I pressed the hotkey on my keyboard to to mute my microphone, which I have mapped to the pause button on my keyboard because I don't use that for like literally anything else ever. So I, I, I hit that. I blew my nose. I did everything. And then I went to go hit the hotkey again to turn my microphone back on, right? But I hit F12. And I didn't have ma F12 mapped to anything, so I didn't think it would cause any kind of problems. But then I look over at where my chat and my, like, stream deck and everything is, like, all my little stream setup stuff, and all I see is Wikipedia. I It, it had opened the home page of Wikipedia, and it had closed everything else. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was so confused. It had literally shut down all of chat, all of my YouTube, ev I had the wiki open, I had Nightbot open, I had everything, and it was like, nah, all you need is Wikipedia. Research mode? <laughs> it, I was so confused. Then I closed Wikipedia, I opened my browser up, and everything was back to normal, it was fine, I got, I got back here safe and sound, but, like, I didn't know my computer had a Wikipedia button. <laughs> It was probably the most unexpected outcome that, that could have happened at, in that moment, honestly. Yeah, straight, not even Stardew Wiki, just straight to the actual literal Wikipedia. Wanted me to read about the anglerfish? I guess so. That was pretty crazy. Almost legendary fish time. The, ma the angler is available in fall, not summer, so we're going to have to sleep a whole new season here, but... But we're getting closer. We're getting closer. So my question now, I guess, is what window, what program was I clicked into that pressing F12 brings you to Wikipedia? <laughs> I don't know what window I was... I wasn't clicked on to start you, obviously, because F12 would be a screenshot, right? Yep, there it is. <laughs> I took. I just took a screenshot. Camera emojis in chat, please. Go look at our ostrich. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check in on Twitter at the start of the the season, at the start of summer. We're gonna be out and about anyway, doing seeds and stuff. So, browser. It must have been in my browser, I guess, but I don't understand why why it goes to Wikipedia. I don't even use Wikipedia like all that much. I use it about as much as like the average person. Or sometimes I'll be like, you know, hmm, I wonder what the most eventful thing to happen in 1805 was, and I'll 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 Wikipedia that. It's mostly just to sate random like shower thoughts or like curiosities that come across the the front of my cerebral cortex. Look at the beans. Ooh, agricultural fun. Thank you. I think the Junimos have been harvesting the beans a little bit at a time here, but uh, but I don't think they've ever been out long enough because I'm not I never stay awake long enough for them to get to all the beans. But but they're hard at work out here in the fields. Now you want to know what the most eventful thing to happen in 1805 was? I, it's probably some kind of war. I don't really know. but there's a way to find out. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. What was the most eventful thing to happen in the year 1805? Okay. I found this on the web for what was the most eventful thing to happen in the year 1805. I hate when Check she, it out. I hate when she does this and she makes me actually, like, read. 1805. You know, coincidentally, the first link brought me to Wikipedia. Who would have thought? Events. What's the the first event? The Michigan Territory is created. Happy birthday, Michigan. Happy birthday. All right. <laughs> it might not be the most eventful event, but it is an event. Michigan was born, baby. You get your info from 20-year-old cryptic books. Do they still publish the Encyclopedia Britannica? 
Is that still a thing that like gets like yearly releases? I don't even know if they do like like ha like what sort of frequency they release the encyclopedias on. I don't know if it's an annual thing like like the Guinness Book of World Records. They do. Happy Brishigan. Must do. How many people do you think have gone to the library, went to the encyclopedia section, found, like, because, like, the encyclopedia, the way it's, like, broken up, it's, like, broken up by letter, right? So if you're looking for something that starts with a specific letter, you would go to that, like, vo the volume of that letter, like, the A volume, the B volume, etc. So they were like, I heard about this new thing, so I'm going to go to the library, go, go to the encyclopedia, find the encyclopedia for the letter T, the T volume, and open it up to the page referring to TikTok. Do you think anyone's ever done that? that? Looked up TikTok in the encyclopedia? Moreover, is there an entry for TikTok in the most recent incarnations of the encyclopedia? There has to be, right? It's, a, it's, it's enough of a cultural touchstone at this point. It's been around long enough. Now someone's about to. <laughs> Five people who have done that ever. Can you name all five? The Kesha song? Oh, that's true. Did it have to... It would, the TikTok page, in reference to the social media platform, would have to share the same page as, like, the... as, as the Kesha song. They publish update volumes in between years between full edition updates. Okay. So they have like individual it's like it's like video games in that way. I can I can I can parse that. The encyclopedias are updated like video games where it's like sometimes they'll have like a big major update, like version 1.6 of Stardew Valley, but most of the time they'll release like version 1.5.4 where they do like hot fixes. That's easy enough to understand. Yo, this is, this is a nice thing about the, uh, about doing trellis crops, at least, is that there's guaranteed to be, like, a bunch of dead, dead plants at the start of the season, so I don't have to worry about, like, re-hoeing and re-watering all these spots. That's pretty handy. The Encyclopedia Britannica is just patch notes. I mean, I feel like saying it's just patch notes is probably disingenuous. Also, how do they decide... Because they must have to, like, get rid of stuff in the Encyclopedia, right? They can't just keep adding stuff and make it like a... Like, oh, the volu volume S is now 17,000 pages long. Like, you eventually hit a breaking point where you just can't make a book that big. How do they decide what's no longer relevant? Is there, like, a committee of encyclopedia, like, like, soothsayers or something? Like, just a bunch of people, like, get, who gather around at the yearly meeting of the encyclopedia and decide what to purge and what to add to the, to the new editions? It probably is actually, like, a literal committee, but I, I like to think that it's, like, uh, <laughs> that is, it's, it, it is, like, a, like a ritualistic event instead of just a bunch of people meeting in like a conference room, which, which is what it probably is. Where's Twitter at? Twitter, look at you. Twitter's looking so happy. <laughs> How are you doing today, Twitter? Oh, Twitter looks really happy today. We're already at half a heart on Twitter. You'll love to see it. Twitter is very tall. Taller than Beatrix even, which I guess makes sense. Yo, it's a quantum cow! It, well, it was for a second. <laughs> cow could... They couldn't... She couldn't decide whether she was a... A brown cow or a white cow for a minute there. They throw entries at the demon they summoned. Ostriches are huge. How tall do ostriches get in real life? Is that, like... Is it accurate to say that they're usually taller than, like... A person, probably. I would, I would imagine so. They got to be taller than the average human, right?
eight feet, ten, ten feet, <laughs> ten foot tall ostrich. Oh my gosh, that's scary. All right, let's stock up on our seeds today, shall we? Ask Siri. All right, you know what? I, I feel like this is a question that Siri will be able to answer without actually, you know, making me read it for myself. Hey, Siri. Hmm? How tall are ostriches? Struthio is 2.7 meters tall. Who the heck is Struthio? 2.7 meters tall. Is this the biggest ostrich? Ostriches are large, flightless birds. They are heavy and large and largest living birds. 2.7 meters. What's 2.7 meters in feet? I should probably know that. I should probably be able to convert meters to feet pretty easily. That's the ostrich. And it's the, like the scientific classification for the ostrich. All right, what are we buying today? Hop starter. That's our, is our trellis crop of the season. Lock it in. Nine-ish feet. Ostriches could dunk a basketball. Yo, that would be aw- imagine, uh, imagine you're playing basketball, but all the players are riding on the backs of ostriches instead to give, like, to give people who are a bit shorter a bit an advantage. Like, what if, like, you're playing, you're playing basketball, but if you're below a certain height threshold, you're allowed to ride an ostrich during the game to give yourself the- to, to like, put yourself on even keel with everybody else. That'd be pretty great. <laughs> that would that would make me much more inclined to to watch basketball on a on a semi regular basis if you could ride ostriches. Our chests are getting a little full out here. We're we're running out of space for <laughs> for for extra crops, but we'll make do. Okay, I gotta hold on. I gotta. I gotta prime my brain for, for trellis mode now. I guess I can just do this. Like, if I run, then I don't hit all the spots. Even if I'm walking, apparently, I don't hit all the spots, though. What the heck happened there? If you ever get a pet ostrich, you're naming it Oscar. I feel like you're not allowed to have a pet ostrich in... At least not, like, in North America, right? Probably falls under some sort of, like, exotic animal protection act of some kind. There's, there's got to be laws against that. You can't, you can't just be going around walking your ostrich down the street. As farm animals? Okay, fair enough then, I guess. Ostrich farms. Still, though, I think... Aren't ost ostriches... They're not native to North America, so, like, you wouldn't, like... You'd have to have, I guess, like, a specialized setup for them, which I guess you could, but wouldn't it be just be easier to to farm the ostriches in, like, their, their native habitat? Your friend in Arizona had one. Maybe, maybe Arizona's close enough in climate. Where are ostriches normally, like, where are they naturally from? Where can, where can you go and find wild ostriches? Also, these hops are kind of, it kind of, like, if I start looking at them too much, it kind of hurts my eyes. It's almost like one of those, like, magic eye pictures. They come from Africa. Anywhere specific in Africa, though? Or just, like, uh, just generally some, like, on the African continent? Deserts in Africa? I would have thought, like, the savanna, not the desert so much. I, I would be surprised if, if ostriches came from the... came from the desert. That, too. Savannas and deserts in Africa. I guess it could, it could, be, it could be, like, not necessarily, like, you know... Like, the Sahara Desert or something like that. Because, like, whenever I think of desert, I think of the most, like, hostile possible, like, lifeless environment where only, like, the 
the harshest and, and weirdest of animals and plants and stuff can thrive, and also camels. But maybe it maybe it's, you know, a, a slightly more habitable desert that ostriches make their home in. They're quite flexible. Morocco and Sudan. Interesting. Pretty lush near rivers. Little ostrich oasis. I would love to see that. Alright, I think we're good. We planted all the crops. We're... We're clocked in here. We filled up the hay. We're, we're in a great spot. Minecraft mentioned. That's true, there are cold deserts as well, like Antarctica, yeah. Like, a desert just does not necess does not necessitate, like, a big, sandy, like, dune-filled landscape. A desert is really just somewhere that is, like, the conditions are harsh enough that, you know, life has a, a hard time existing or has to adapt in very specific ways in order to be able to thrive. That's how you get things like, like cacti and and camels and, like, scarabs and stuff. Wait, are scarabs real? Or are they just made up from, like, Egyptian mythology? They're just, like, beetles. Like, they, you wouldn't have to make up, like, a scarab, right? Because it's just, like, a beetle. There's not really anything that, like, significant about it. Real? I've never really thought about that, like... They are real? Okay. Like, they're a cool-looking beetle, but they are just a beetle at the end of the day, right? There are beetles which are just prone to look strange. I don't think beetles look strange. I think beetles are, are one of the cooler-looking insects, in my opinion. I'm not a person who's, like, you know... I'm not- I'm not freaked out by, like, too many different types of insects. And- and, like, lowest on the totem pole for- for insects that freak me out when I, like, look at them or I'm near them would be a beetle, I think. I think beetles are pretty chill. Even if they're, like, flying beetles, that's still fine. It's- it's a little- it's a little more unnerving if they can fly, but, uh... But honestly, they just look- look so cool. Like, just their- just the way that they're, like, designed with, like, their shiny little shells, the horned beetles and stuff, it's like, oh, man. There's just something very, very nice about them. Unless it's a cockroach. Is a cockroach a beetle? I don't think so, right? Like, a- like, a roach is legally distinct from a beetle. Am I correct about that? Cause yeah, no, like cock cockroaches can can step right off. I don't I don't want anything to do with a cockroach. But they're not beetles. Is a ladybug a beetle? A ladybug checks all the boxes for what a beetle is in my brain, right? So I, I have to imagine it's a beetle. But also it's just like a late like a ladybug's just like a ladybug. It's kind of like its own thing. Ladybug is a beetle. And I know there are a lot of people out there who are scared of ladybugs, but they're... But I just find them so cute. Japanese lady beetles are an invasive species here in Michigan. Yeah, beetles, I think that's the, that's the big downside of beetles, is that they can turn into, like, pretty bad invasive species problems. Like up in like in like in Western Canada here, there's like uh like there's like pine beetles, right? They're the ones that cause like lots of lots of havoc for for forests and like lumber companies and all that stuff. I think there's like a, I don't know the the ins and outs of the problems with pine beetles, but I have heard about pine beetles quite a bit.
Now, all this beetle discourse aside, like, do I think beetles are the cutest of insects? I would say probably not. I think the cutest classification of insect in my brain, probably caterpillars. Caterpillars are, like, they're just like little gummy worms, dude. They've got such, like, vibrant colors. They're so, like, squishy looking. Like, how can you be, how can you be mad or, like, scared of a caterpillar? Caterpillars are also scary. I'm not going to judge you for it. I just don't understand at the end of the day. Caterpillars eat so much. I could understand if they're like a pest and they're like eating lots of stuff. But they're so, they're so cute. Do not, not the caterpillar. Moths. I would classify on the tier list of insect cuteness. Caterpillar S tier. Moth A tier. Moth is pretty cute little fluffy moth, but it still it still has a bit of an un unnerving quality to it at times. Ants are S tier? Dude, ants are like C tier as far as cuteness goes. They're just kind of there, and they're also like, you know, they, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Now, weirdly, weirdly, I'm so I'm sorry to anyone who's <laughs> this discussion is is maybe causing some undue duress. Because I know in insects can be a touchy topic for a lot of people. And I might be going a step too far here by bringing up this insect. But weirdly, even though I find caterpillars very cute, in that supposed tier list of, of insect cuteness, what's going in the F tier? Millipede. Millipede slash centipede. Even though they share a lot of similarities with caterpillars, Get them out of my life. Uh, please, no. Stay away at, <laughs> at all costs. They're so freaky. I hate them. Can we can we all please agree that 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 classification? Ooh, third stack of iridium ore is starting. You'll have to see that. Can we all please agree that millipedes can just be... Let's just never never discuss millipedes, ever. <laughs> or at least, you know, try not to visualize them if we do discuss them. Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis is... I would not classify it necessarily as cute, but it is a cool insect for sure. Only cute centipede is the black one with the yellow spots by its sides. I don't think I've ever seen that one, and... I would be hard pressed to call a centipede cute. I mean, you're not gonna trick me into googling pictures of centipedes. <laughs> that's that's not what I want to do today. Maybe if I'm feeling particularly loathsome one day, I'll do that. But uh, but today is not that day for me. I'm having a good day so far. I'm not about to go Google. Show me as many pictures of centipedes and millipedes as you can. This you know, it's not it's not that kind of a day. Ants are the only insect you can look at without wanting to cry. Counteroffer, butterfly. I know pe people can get scared of butterflies, but like butterflies, I feel like the general cultural consensus is that butterflies are more beautiful than they are like freaky. Ants are cool. I pretty I pretty well agree that ants are cool. They're very interesting and, you know, diverse, unique creatures. But I can also understand the rationale for them being like for them being like scared of ants more than I can with certain other insects. Butterfly is still weird once you see past the wings. That's true. I mean once once if you're paying close attention to like the body of a butterfly, it gets a little more alien and grotesque, but but the wings are the main like draw of the butterfly. Bumblebees are the cutest insect? I mean that just goes without saying. Bumblebees are certified S tier. Tree hoppers are I don't know what a tree hopper is. Is a tree hopper like a grasshopper, but in the tree? <laughs> Could it really be so simple? I feel like ants are just the default insect. They kind of are, yeah. 
Like, if you had to come up with, like, a logo or a flag for, for all of insect kinds, there's a decent chance you're getting, like, an ant on that flag. Ants and beetles. Ants and beetles strike me as the most, like, vanilla of the insects. How my, how my homies feel about termites? I don't really know what a termite looks like. In my brain, a termite is like a super ant with big pincers. I don't really I don't really know them that well, but what did we get here? It's a great question. It's it's you know that can be asked a lot of the times at various parts of the stream how we got here. Termite equals no more homies or homes. Yeah, termite termites have like, you know, even if you find them to be a cool-looking insect, I feel like they have few redeeming qualities. Big old pincers. Is an antlion a termite? Number one, antlion. Gotta have, like, one of the coolest, like, names of any insect. A freak, like, an antlion? That's so epic. <laughs> you won't catch me using the word epic all that often, non-ironically. But an antlion is, like, is super cool. Antlions are like dragonflies. I don't think antlions, they don't fly, do they? They're the big flies with glassy wings. I thought antlions were those like things that like dig into the sand and they like cause like, then they like try to like lure in other insects. They like create like a pit in the sand that other insects can't escape from and they sit in the center of that pit and they like, they munch on all the other insects that fall in. I thought that's what an antlion was. Am I confusing antlions with something else? That's their larval form? I haven't even seen their final form yet? In Secret of Mana, maybe? <laughs> no, no, Catch Me in Mother 3. That's where I first learned about antlions. Anteater? I can't believe ant eaters are real creatures, for the record. You just look at an ant eater and you're like, that's fake. Someone, that's like a, that's like that, uh, that time when, like, someone sewed, like, the bottom half of a fish to the top half of a monkey skeleton. And they, and they called it a mermaid. It's like, it's not real. You can't convince me that it's real. <laughs> but I love that they are real, because they're so great. Go check in on the hops. Today's a good day to check in on the hops, actually, because it's a, it's a rainy day, so the Junimos won't be out, so we can see them in all their full-grown glory. Is that almost a full stack of diamonds? We've been collecting diamonds for, for a hot minute, for sure. We haven't really done much with them, but... <laughs> but Beatrix is pretty rich. Ooh. I love this. I just like how these hops look. They're a very nice shade of green. Thoughts on earwigs? I think that's a good point to end the insect discussion on. In my, my personal opinion. Thoughts on earwigs? No thank you. <laughs> that's that's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on the thoughts on earwigs discussion. <laughs> oh no no no! Yo, we can move on. We we've been saved. We've been saved from the insect discussion. We're gonna kazoom on out to whatever the next discussion might be. <laughs> For those not in the know, anyone who's new to the stream, coming in from the Master Angler video, whatever the case may be, welcome to the greatest song you'll ever hear, featuring a kazoo. That's so good. Kazoom. 
I feel like it's been a while since we had a stream that featured both B underscore boss dot OGG and Kazoom, our two like preferred favorite stream songs. Sometimes we'll get one, sometimes we'll get the other, but this is the first stream in a while that we've had both. How did I get it saved on my playlist? I mean, my playlist uh, for the stream consists of just a bunch of MP3 files that I play through VLC Media Player in like a shuffle loop format. So I just downloaded it basically. You can't save material for kids on YouTube. Now I went, I went to the YouTube audio library and downloaded the song directly. Even though this song is, it is classified mostly in the YouTube audio library as a song for children's content. We're, we're giving it a fresh revival around here. VLC Media Player is a GOAT app. There's a reason it's been around as long as it has. That's all I'm going to say. VLC Media Player is, is second to none as far as, you know, media players go. <laughs> Doo, doo, doo. We've gotten both every time you've been on one of the streams. I think we're, I think as far as the stream playlist goes, we are at sort of a tipping point where if I add too many more songs, then we won't hear B underscore boss dot OGG or Kazoom nearly as often. But I also want to add more songs to keep things fresh, you know what I mean? And maybe, maybe it's good if we don't hear them as often, because then when they do come around, it'll be much more of an event. What's the name of this song? This song is called Kazoom. It is on the YouTube Audio Library, copyright free music, it's a, and it's amazing. <laughs> you could probably just, you, just search it on YouTube and you'll find it there. And I add them, I could add them twice. Yeah, I could, could add multiple copies of the songs just to increase their incidence rate, but I think part of the magic of them, and like when we do get to hear them, is that, you know, it's like we struck the lottery. Like we hit the, we hit the lottery as far as music goes and we get to enjoy our favorite songs for a brief moment. And the other upside of adding more music to the playlist is that maybe there are more songs akin to Kazoom and B underscore boss dot OGG that we just aren't aware of yet. Maybe there's songs that we have yet to fall in love with. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee there are songs out there that we would fall in love with just as much, if not more, if I were to, to add them in. Yo, full stack of diamonds. I got 1,000 diamonds in this chest right now. That is crazy. Holy moly. Get some diamond emojis in chat. That's a di this is, this is a diamond chest if I've ever seen one. A diamond, dynamite, dynamax chest. Nothing beats B boss. I I am inclined to agree, but you know, never say never. <laughs> one thousand diamonds. What do we need diamonds for? To look pretty. Have we tailored a diamond? I don't know what a diamond tailors into, honestly. Maybe now's the time to find out. In before diamond chest plate from Minecraft. What does a diamond make? I haven't made one yet. Let's see. Ooh, it's a pendant shirt. A shirt with a big pendant. <laughs> Yo, she's got that ice. She's looking so dripped out right now. Yas Queen Slay. Keep this diamond shirt on me for a minute. I'm kind of loving it. The diamonds, the sunglasses. She is killing it, dude. Oh no, it's ugly. What do you mean it's ugly? It's a nice big pendant. It's so good. Be a drip. Too cool for you. It is. It is definitely a vibe. She's got expensive tastes, and we respect that for her. What a long way Beatrix has come from spending hours on end in the mines, grinding out the same rock to get a, a one geode at a time for 50 gold apiece, just to afford a little, a little morsel of her next goal. 
Now she's sitting on a mother load of 7 million gold plus with all like the animal products we have in reserve. Sunglasses on, blinged out, looking just, just amazing. What a journey. Slowly turning into Mr. Chi. She's a millionaire, she's gotta look the part. Yo, if I could if I could put on the tiara and the sunglasses at the same time, that would be perfection. That would be so good. Undertale music. Undertale music is in danger. I've heard of people having issues with adding Undertale music to their stream playlists, like, you know, of having it get content ID matched and stuff. I don't know if it's worth the risk. There are, there is there are definitely some great Undertale songs that could be added to the stream playlist, but I'm a little a little hesitant about it. I've added some songs to the, to the playlist in the past that have gotten content ID matched and I like and you know just like scratches, you know, monetization from the entire VOD, which is not ideal, but uh, I just take those songs off the playlist and we're none the wiser basically. Asgore is incredible. You mean Bergen Token? Uh, that's probably completely not how you pronounce that, but it's how you pronounce it in my heart. Paper Steak could be a new B boss slash Kazoom. What is Paper Steak? <laughs> is that an Undertale song, or is it just a, a new song all into itself? How can I suggest a song to add to the playlist? I can't guarantee that I'll see it, but but on the Discord, um, probably probably su suggesting it somewhere on the maybe I should I, sh I should have like a song suggestion channel on the Discord. I don't think I have one of those. We have a music channel on the Discord, but maybe like a like a stream song suggestion channel for the Discord could could be fun. Stream discussion would be a good place to start for now, but I think I might do like a dedicated channel for like for like stream music suggestions so that I can because oftentimes I'll be out like looking for ones that like match the vibe and see if I can and see if I want to add them. And I have very picky tastes when it comes to the vibe, so we have so many channels already. Yeah, we might have to do a little bit of a little bit of housekeeping in the Discord at some point because not all the channels necessarily need to be there all the time. I think for the most part it's pretty good, but what I think could be fun though is if we um like if I have like if there's a place for people to drop song suggestions. And then at the start of each stream, or like, at, or maybe, I don't know, maybe not at the start of each stream, but maybe we have like dedicated streams where we like play some of those songs and we sort of like vote yay or nay on whether or not to, to add them to the stream playlist. And now that I'm saying it out loud, this is literally just what Ludwig does on his streams is <laughs> every so often he'll just like change up his stream playlist by, you know, doing like user voted submissions. It's a good format, though. What you know, he's, he does it for a reason. Do I know the song "Cyber's World"? I do not. It would be a great way to get uh, to get acquainted with new music that I've never had the chance to hear before, though. I feel like "Clock Town" from Majora's Mask would be a good fit. I'm trying to remember how that song even goes. Ooh, rainbow shell. Hold on, I kind of want that. Eh, you know, we got enough rainbow shells. We're fine. I'll go get the supply crate, though. I actually have some songs myself that I've been, like toying with the idea of, like, should I add them to this playlist? Should I not? And just, like, 
humming and hawing over it, like constantly going back and forth. Like, does it fit the vibe? Does it not fit the vibe? And probably, probably the best way to decide that is to is to let all of you guys decide. Putting putting the songs up to a community vote, I think, is probably the, the best way to to figure out what we, where we want to go with the music. Pretty much every single Zelda song is ingrained in your head. Honestly, it's pretty good music to have ingrained in your head if you're going to have anything. <laughs> I've curated a very good vibe so far. Thank you, I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm pretty picky. Ooh, homie's birthday! I'm pretty picky with the songs that I put on the playlist. I want them to have fit like a very... There's, there's like a couple different vibes you can go for. Like some, we gotta have like, you know, calm, low energy, but still like, you know head bobbing songs you can have some higher energy songs but you don't want them to be like too prevalent otherwise you risk you know, like the the whole stream feeling like extremely high energy and like kind of panic inducing and anxiety inducing sometimes but i like to have like mostly chill stuff with a mix of little energetic bops in here and there by the way speaking of energy i don't know what this has to do with anything but happy birthday homie <laughs> we appreciate you around here. Rain, it's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. That's poetic right there. I didn't I didn't know you were so profound and philosophical, my homie. Still full of surprises, even this many this many years down the line. Happy New Year there, hey Saf. Hope you're having a good one. Hope your 2024 is off to a fantabulous start and thanks for dropping in it's good to see you you go full energy or full jazz i do still have the one song video cat jazz i have that saved it's not in the playlist obviously but it's it's there and ready to <laughs> ready to grace our ears if we ever need it oh my gosh thank you to to aga for the 119.99 PLN <laughs> super chat, thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate the generosity and the, and the support there. That's amazing. You missed so much of the stream. It's okay. It's all good. But there honestly hasn't been that much to miss. We're still on the second goal. Wait, no, we're not on this. Are we on the? How many goals have we done? We've done. We did ostrich incubator. We did cranberry candy, and we're on the third goal of the stream now. We've been just been sleeping to try and get to the angler. So, <laughs> you really haven't missed too much. It's uh, you're we're doing all right. You missed a lot of talk about insects. So I'm sorry if you were particularly invested in in visualizing a lot of creepy crawlies today. But but uh, it's all right. We're we're in the past now. <laughs> that's in, that's in the past. Do not go back to that, please. Don't worry. It's 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 behind us. Oh yeah, the zoomed in volcano run. I almost forgot. I almost I almost put it out of my mind. And I almost put it out of everybody everybody else's mind, I hoped too. But <laughs> I think I think that zoomed in volcano run may have left scars that uh will take a take a while to heal here. <laughs> zoomed in zero UI volcano run. What's your favorite fear? I think we'll probably stray away from that discussion. We we know we have we have discussions like that every now and again, but generally we try to keep this a, a nice, cozy, wholesome, fun place to for for everybody involved. Chat. What's your favorite breed of dog? Quick. F favorite breed of dog. Think of the dogs. Think of cute, fluffy, fluffy puppies. <laughs> You don't like dogs? Oh no! Oh no, we're losing them! <laughs> Pitbulls, mutts, corgis, pitties, greyhound, husky. Love all the dogs. That's that's a, that's a perfectly reasonable answer to love all the dogs. 
here's how you know I'm on the in I'm on the internet too much. I think my favorite new I think my favorite breed of dog has become the Shiba Inu, the 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 Doge meme dog. I love that guy. He's is such a such a nice looking dog. If I were if I were to get another dog, I would be you know I would I would legitimately consider <laughs> the Doge dog. That's so 2012 of you. It's such a great dog. Like, how can you look at a Shiba Inu and be sad? You literally can't. It's literally physically impossible. Scientists have, have tried. They've tested it. But even the most sour of sour pusses will, will look at a Shiba Inu meme. And they'll be like, and they'll crack a little smile. You want Nyan Cat on the playlist? I think that's probably... Probably a little much. Maybe we can have like a Nyan Cat remix of some kind, I don't know. Shivas have very nice face patterns. Who's the one there's the one Shiba Inu that I that I follow. He's got like a whole channel. He doesn't post that that, that often. And it's not obviously not the dog itself that's posting, but it features oh Tobe, to Tobe the Shiba Inu. Anyone anyone know Tobe? Some of his videos are just so I literally have them like in my in my bookmarks because they're just like so nice to just go and watch some sometimes. The place you you might know. That dog, the Shiba Inu Tobe, from most, uh, I think, I think it's, like, most prolific videos, most popular one, is the one with all the bread, where he does, like, an infomercial for, like, you have too much bread. Send me some of your bread. And for a limited time offer, you can send me not one, but two bread. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's one of the best videos of all time. For those who haven't seen it, I must be like speaking complete nonsense to you right now. But uh, <laughs> but if you have, then then hopefully I've awakened a nice memory for you. Have a good one there, Hannah. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Midterms coming up. I believe in you. You got this. I, I respect you for putting putting studying ahead of of stream time. That is a that's a mature decision right there. Is that the what will I do with the bread? It's a secret dog? That it that is the very same, yep. What will I do with all the bread? It's a secret. Ah, oh, he's so good. Such a good boy. You miss Charlie is so cool likes bread song. She deleted all her old YouTube videos though. Charlie is so cool like is a is a name I've heard around the internet for a very long time and I, and I know literally nothing about them. I honestly thought that that uh, like I, di I didn't even know like I don't even know their pronouns. <laughs> like, like you say she, I honestly thought it was a he or I thought they were a he. I have no idea. It's just one of those parts of the internet that is a blind spot for me. But that's okay, you know. If you tried to have the internet, like all all different facets of all internet culture, in your brain all at one time, I don't think I don't think a single human brain has the capacity to even begin to do that. <laughs> Like there are parts, there are parts of YouTube out there, like communities and sub communities and sub sub communities, that are just like so esoteric and niche that I will never hope to begin to understand them, or even or even know about them. Probably even within the Stardew community itself, there's like niche like subcultures. Like there's probably like people who just like. All they do in Stardew Valley is, like, plant trees all day. 
And I'm like, you know what? It's, it's more power to you if you want to just plant, plant like a, a farm literally full of trees, like every single tile. And never chop them down or tap them or anything. You just like want to look at the trees. Like, the trees are nice. I'll give you that. She's trans, used to use he, and it uses she now. Okay, that's good to know. She's a she now, too. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Charlie is so cool, like, has been around for a very long time. I don't know, like, how long necessarily, but the, but uh, but she was part of the the OG YouTube scene, I'm pretty sure, like, with, like, like as early as, like, you know, Smosh and, like, early day Vlogbrothers and, and all that stuff, like, back in, like, the, like, 2007 era. That's, it de definitely, she, like, she dates back pretty far, and, and I'm a little bit upset with myself that I don't know that much about her. Either way, we have arrived officially. It didn't take that long to get here. The end of summer is upon us. Let's go, let's go, you know, let's go have a quick glance at our field of hops before we move along. Just enjoy it one last time while the Junimos give a, give a final harvest down here. Before we move on to, uh, to fall and the trellis crop therein, which I guess would be grapes. I feel like I so rarely grow grapes, but, you know, it's, it's in fitting with the tr tradition here. <laughs> Grape time. I feel like the grape fields are going to look pretty. Beatrix Vineyards is about to open for business, baby. Dustin Bullock, welcome to the... Uh, welcome to membership, by the way. That's a weird way to phrase it, but thank you very much for becoming a member at the Neutron level. Thank you. I greatly appreciate the generosity and support. Enjoy your emotes and your, uh, your sword. Careful you swing that thing. What do I think of when you say 2014? There's like a blank space in my brain. I don't know why. <laughs> 2014 is a very nothing year to me. I don't know what happened in 2014. There's probably some pretty significant things that happened in 2014, but but nothing that was that was particularly noteworthy to me. Blank space. Oh no. Is that did blank space come out then? The Taylor Swift song? <laughs> Alright. I guess I should have gotten my my rod ready before I actually started here today. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and... I mean, we can catch the angler now, obviously. Let's go ahead and... No, let's just do that. I was going to say we could, like, set up our crops and then, like, do the angler tomorrow in case we need to reset or anything like that. But why not just, like, you know, just go to it now. Grab myself the fiberglass rod... Get some bait on deck here. Curiosity lure I wish we could use, but unfortunately it's uh <laughs> it's it's not available on this rod here. Let's go fishing, shall we? Go catch possibly the least legendary of all the legendary fish, but it's still legendary fish in my heart. Let's go get that angler now. And hopefully not catch any green algae in the interim. We don't have to worry about catching seaweed these days anymore, because that was that was finally a, a goal. But green algae is still a reset point for us. I'm always a little bit perturbed about the the location of the uh, the angler here. Because it, it's in such a location that, like, it's just not in a good location. Like, you can't catch, like, high-quality anglers up here. There's, like, no good fishing zones around here. You need to get, like, really creative to catch, like, a high-quality angler if you want one. Alright, do we got it? That's not the angler. At the very least, it's, it's extremely easy to tell which fish is and is not the angler. <laughs> Not a bit perturbed, but somewhat mildly perturbed. You read my mind. Reset pull? It's okay, we don't need a reset pull because we're not going to have to reset at all. We're not going to catch a single... Like, the only thing we could realistically catch here 
that would need us that would cause a reset would be green algae and i mean what are the odds that we even catch a green algae we're such a like high fishing level at this point that like i can't even there's no way they're, they're not going to make me catch a green algae here we're just going to get the angler and move right along yeah can you imagine catching green algae that would be so embarrassing that would be so i would just be mortified if i caught green algae right now Nah, we don't we don't we don't reel in for anything less than the angler itself. Green algae is not on my list. Can someone tell the angler that it's it's fall, by the way? There we go. Okay. Now can I catch you is the question. Like I, I did like the angler is one of the easier legendary fish for sure, but at the level of fishing that we're at, it could still pose a bit of a problem. Never mind, it's actually so easy. <laughs> Oh, I had to, you know, I had to put on airs just in case, but... Old Mariner? Wait, that's 24 fish! We've officially caught 24 different breeds of fish? Yo! <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go see what our hat mouse has on offer after that one. I don't know. I feel, I feel like we've just unlocked possibly a great hat, but I, I couldn't tell you what it is. Off the top of my head. Just in time for Pierre to open. True. True. We can go ahead and stop here. Alex is in need of an amethyst. That's a little bit off-brand for... What the heck? Fall is Abby's favorite season, so I'm hoping she'll come out of her room more often. Okay, but who asked? <laughs> like, you just, you just stepped outside and told me that, Caroline? I wasn't even trying to talk to you. I was just trying to open the door. Earl? Alright, where am I... Where are my grape starters at? Perfect. Caroline jump scare. New goal time. Should I roll the new goal or should I go get the hat first? I'm going to go get my hat first. It feels in fitting. We got the hat off the back of this goal. So I feel like I'm going to go get that and then we'll... Hopefully it's a, it's a hype hat. Hopefully it's not, you know, just kind of like a nothing hat. And maybe we'll we'll get some excitement out of that. I know my priorities here. Hat first, goal second. That's what everyone's here for. You know, randomizer might be in the name of the challenge and the stream and everything, but we're all here for the fashion at the end of the day. What do we got? Cool cap is not it. What is it here? What are we looking at? Daisy? Is it the official cap? Is the official cap the one I have unlocked here? The, if the mailman hat? Year of the trellis? It has been so far. It's kind of flown by, though. I think I think the official cap is the, is the new one here. This is official Beatrix reporting for duty. It's kind of cute. We could definitely formulate an outfit around that one. All right. Well, you know, without further ado, we have the hat now. I'm a man of my word, more often than not. Let's go roll a new a new goal, shall we? What in the world? <laughs> that, that was weird. Oh, sorry, there was something weird happening on my end, but you don't need to worry about it. It's fine. I didn't I didn't open Wikipedia again. It's okay. I didn't hit F12. I'm a little scared now. Quick hydration break. Fashion game first and farming game second. Truer words were never spoken. All right. We are here. We are here, ready to move up past the 31st percentile. Thank you to the angler for giving us this joyous goal. I'm going to have to get another fish tank for you, I think, in order to, to make you at home. We've got, we've got a solo fish tank for the crimson fish. It's only fair. Finish it up. Beautiful. All right. What are we hoping for here? I mean, it's the same old tropes as always, isn't it? Backpack upgrade? Craft a chest would honestly be kind of nice. Walnut room? Um, 
you know, maybe a little factor's challenge. I'm feeling kind of frisky today. Hit me with it. Why not? Cook eggplant parmesan. I can do that too. I guess that's that's also fine. Sure, why not? <laughs> Cook eggplant parmesan though. The eggplant comes back in its pristine final form. For those not in the know, the eggplant was the first shipping goal we got in the entire in the entire challenge. So the eggplant kind of holds a special place in my heart. So I'm happy to have this uh, this recipe available. Eggplant arm. Also just like a good dish in real life. Back when everything was only purple. It's true, Priya. It's true. We're kind of going back to back to our roots with that one with this one here, because we've got uh We've got a bunch of grape starters we're gonna go plant. Purple is back in style, baby. Can we cook it before we need plant all the grapes in case we need a in case we need a fish that's caught at a certain time? I like the min-maxing. I like the min-maxing. Here, you take this official cap. That actually works really well on Iota. Am I crazy? I like I like this hat on Iota. <laughs> I'm kinda I'm kinda digging it. Iota kinda slaying right now. Sheesh. Am I allowed to say sheesh? Or am I too am I too old for that? I don't even know the proper intonation to say sheesh. Now Iota's official too. I def I definitely had a heck of a voice crack during that sheesh, but I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to go like sheesh, yas queen, slay, slay, hit the gritty. What? <laughs> I, I think I regressed to like if I had been born like five years later. Maybe ten years later, that would that could have been me. I just looked into like a dark mirror for a second. Minus one hundred viewers. <laughs> oh, that'd be so. That's is it. Is it true? I'm not even paying attention to the viewer count, but <laughs> I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't blame anybody. All right, I'm moving this over here. Hide it in the corner, little corner plant. Now I'm gonna go grab a fish tank. Where's the fish tank at? There it is. Nobody tell him. Tell who what? I want, wait, I wanna be in on the secret. Tell who what? <laughs> there we go. Excuse me, that's just a shadow. Okay, there there you are. <laughs> Angler's feeling a little shy today. You know, it's, it's all right. It's all right, we're all a little shy from time to time. The invisible angler, there he is. Alright. It's a good call to cook the eggplant parmesan before I before I go and do anything else, just in case one of our goals here is time time sensitive. What do I need for eggplant parmesan? I'm gonna say probably eggplant, tomato, and cheese would be my my naive guess. I don't even need the cheese! Where wait, where does the cheese come from? <laughs> It's just eggplant and tomato. Judemo's just adding a little cheese in for, for the fun of it when I'm not looking. I mean, I'm happy for that. It makes it for an easier recipe. But <laughs> it's a little bizarre. Might, maybe, it'll, maybe it'll change it in 1.6. Who knows? Eggplant Parmesan. Plus three defense, plus one mining is not a bad buff either. I don't necessarily know when you'd ever want a mining buff specifically. Actually, hold on. In 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 keeping with tra tradition, we got to tailor the eggplant parmesan. Something tells me it's not going to make a very nice shirt. I feel like these saucy dishes generally don't, but only one way to find out. It's just kind of it's just kind of a shirt, dude. <laughs> it's just kind of it's just kind of there. Not really. It's it's a pretty blase color. You could probably make an outfit work with that though. Sure is a shirt. <laughs> All right. New goal time. Let's rock.
Want May Pal Syrup? It's, it is certainly one of the shirts of all time. Absolutely. Is it wearable? I didn't check. Well, actually, I did. I did put it on for a second. So I guess technically, by that definition, it's a wearable shirt. You'd love to see it. All right. Cook eggplant parmesan. Not only did I cook it, I sewed it into a fine linen shirt. Done. Went above and beyond there. Could the walnut room be on the horizon? Could the backpack be up on be up on the horizon here? We haven't had a befriending goal in a hot minute. We've been we've been away from those for a little while here. We could be overdue in that regard. Level ups as well. That the world is our oyster here. I'm always I'm never more excited than I am when I before clicking this generate goal button in the in the micro instant before I when I click this button and I haven't seen what the goal is yet and it could be anything in the world. It's so exciting and then I click it. And I have to catch a walleye, and I'm sad. <laughs> Actually, that's not that bad. Catching a walleye is pretty pretty reasonable. That's a rainy day fall fish, correct? Walleye is a perfectly doable fish, I'm pretty sure. We might have rain. I think I think we have exactly one rain totem left. Is this a good occasion to use the rain totem? So that we can, like, you know, get this one out of the way quickly and then have a lot of the rest of fall left to go? Or do we just, like, send it through fall and hope for a rainy day? Yeah, yeah, I'll check, th I'll check the weather report on TV first. That, that goes without saying. Maybe it doesn't, though, because I've been known not to do that sometimes. But, but thank you for, uh... Thank you for reminding me at the very least. Weather report. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow! Let's go! It was meant to be! Perfect, perfect. We don't even need to worry about it. Don't even need to ask ourselves the question. I'm gonna go plant myself some grape starters. This is just- this, this, everything's just shaping up so nicely this fall. Caught myself an angler, got myself a new hat cooked up some eggplant parmesan and tomorrow I just get to move right along with my very next goal. It's rare that these fishing goals line up quite that well. Usually it's they're, they're like way out of season. They're, you know, you need a specific kind of weather, which we do, but it just, you know, happened to work out this time. You love to see it. Purple fall outfit for the purple fall. I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying Beatrix's <laughs> blinged out appearance for the time being. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe on tomorrow's stream we'll we'll switch it up a little bit, but for now let her enjoy her luxurious lifestyle. Are the huts full? That's good. probably worth checking for sure. Give me a minute here. We'll, we'll work our way down to the huts. We'll check them when the, when we're when we're down there. Let's get over here. Make sure I take care of this before I get too far along. What do we got there's still room there. Still, there's still room in the huts. We're probably pretty close to needing a new chest for all the crops that we have because like pretty much all three of these chests are getting quite full at this point and the June mods themselves are also pretty full but but for now we still have a little bit of wiggle room to work with why are there logs because we do not have an axe strong enough to break them yet wait could we get the pat we could get we could enchant our axe maybe we can we have enough cinder shards we could try we could try to enchant our axe. I didn't even think about that. We have the cinder shards. We ha we have the technology. Autumn, hello. Welcome on in. It would be a quintessential upgrade. A copper axe with the power powerful enchantment. It would be perfect. Forging XP, though, that's true, actually. Yeah, the forging XP would be a bit of a limiting factor, because we're, we're we're currently at only level 2 forging, so that would be... We could get rid of some of them, but not all of them, probably.
what happens when we have to upgrade that axe by com by command later then? Um, I think it would still be enchanted, right? Like, I think I don't think the upgrading process would eliminate the enchantment on it. That said, I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually taken a tool that's already enchanted to be upgraded at Clint's. <laughs> Most of the time when you're going for the enchantments, it's already on an Iridium tool. So I have no idea. Looks like you need an upgraded axe to destroy this gnarled log. That's a sprinkler. What are you talking about, game? <laughs> you silly game. That's just a sprinkler. Should still keep. You did it with your watering can. I'm o I'm open to, to trying it out at the very least. There we go. Full grape orchard achievement unlocked. My vineyard begins now. Get some grape emojis in chat. Grape emojis. Grape emojis for a grape farm. A great grape farm. Did we discover the powerful axe stuff during... Yeah, we did. We discovered, like, things about the powerful axe enchantment during the, the Price of Perfection back in the day. It was a it was a pivotal moment for sure. Enchant stay when you upgrade apparently. Y'all looking at looking at all those grapes. Grapes have gotta be like one of the best fruits, honestly. I hum and haw depending on like depending on the day what my favorite fruit is gonna be, but but grapes are consistently in the top tier, there's no doubt about that. All right, lock these in here. They make your mouth dry. They do the opposite for me. They they are like having a drink without actually having to have a drink. They're one of the most refreshing fruits to me, but your mileage may vary. All right, I still have I still have my fishing rod on me, which is good because we can catch the walleye tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I think we just go from there. Grape surgery. Have a good one there, Hamster. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Crunchy grapes are top tier? What the heck's a crunchy grape? I've had great like frozen grapes before. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I do I do like a frozen grape. Alright. Lock it in. Raisin? I guess a raisin is kind of a crunchy. It's I mean it's a dehydrated grape. Yeah, the only other thing I think of when I think of a crunchy grape is a, a grape with, like, a seed in it, or, like, a pit or something. And I hate those. Because I, grapes are just, like, a nice snack food. You can just pop them in your mouth, bite down, and have a have a wonderful, blissful experience. But not if there's a seed in there. That just, like, ruins my day. <laughs> Alright. Where should I go fishing for the walleye? You can catch it in the mountain lake. And the pond, right? Maybe you can also catch it in the river, I don't remember, but I know for a fact you can catch it in, like, the, the forest pond and the mountain lake. I'm trying to think back to my Master Angler challenge experience, although most of that was, the, was with magic bait, so... I think, I think, definitely the river. I guess it doesn't matter too much either way. Maybe we'll go fishing in the in the forest pond, just for fun. It's rare that we get a chance to go fishing in the forest pond. Let me let me double check, like super verify, because I have the wiki open anyway. Walleye is available from the river, mountain, lake, forest pond, and forest farm pond, which we don't have, obviously. Oh, it's only available from 12 p.m. onward as well, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit here. Okay. Forgot about that little that little wrinkle in the plans here. Aren't the seeds poisonous in large large amounts? I would imagine they probably are, but probably, like, amounts so large that it's not even worth concerning yourself with. Mm -hmm. 
If only the gold clock could advance time. Maybe the iridium clock when that drops in 1.6. Chat, don't tell anybody, but Concerned Ape, he gave me a sneak peek at version 1.6. I'm just saying, the, the iridium clock hits a little different. Yes, it does cost 1 billion gold, so you have to save up for quite a while, but it's worth it. Trust me. It's worth it. <laughs> That's not true, by the way. That is a, that is a made-up, non-factual, non-canonical statement. <laughs> just in case anyone was was curious. Could you imagine, though? Could you imagine Iridium Clock? What would he? What would he even do? What would an Iridium Clock do? The Gold Clock prevents debris from spawning on your farm. The Iridium Clock plants crops on your farm for you. It just you just put a ch you put, it acts as a chest, and you put in your seeds and your watering can, and your fertilizer, and you it just does all the work for you. You don't- you never have to plant anything ever again. Have to buff plants and buff animals? What if- what if the Iridium Clock made it so that all crops and animal produce were Iridium quality 100% of the time? Would that be too powerful? Probably not, honestly, for something like as endgame as an- as an Iridium Clock is wont to be. I think that's honestly, like, a pretty good reward. <laughs> I'm not saying it would cost a billion gold. I think that's even probably, like, a little crazy. I think if I were to make an Iridium Clock myself, I would probably have it cost, like, 50 million gold. 50 million? May you could maybe step it up to 100 million. That's probably a little, like, a step too far. I think 50 million is already, like, more than enough. Like, it's so prohibitively expensive that the vast majority of players are never going to have one. I was, I was, I've just been humming and hot. What am I going to do with this Jojo Cola? What else do you do with cola? You drink it. Please know my joints. I could write a mod. Iridium Clock mod when... And it's required for perfection. That's That would be kind of the, the, the big negative. Maybe it would be one of those things. It could be one of those things that is unlocked after perfection. Like, kind of like the golden chickens. Like, what if you didn't have the option to build an Iridium Clock until you, after you've gotten perfection? That way it's not required. And it's just, like, a, a nice thing to strive for for people that uh, that want something to do after perfection. Because as it stands, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, like you get perfection and there's, and, you know, you can make your own goals and stuff after that, and a lot of people do, I'm sure, but there's not a huge incentive to keep going after perfection, because obviously perfection is, is perfection, you did it, but what if there was, you know, a couple little final things you could push for after perfection just for, just for the funs funsies. Concerned ape in chat furiously taking notes right now. Write that down. Write that down. Perfection part two. Look at all these little froggies, dude. So many little froggers coming out here. Perfection two electric boogaloo. All right, we are officially just about in walleye territory. It is walleye o'clock. This is going to be a pretty devastating reset if we have to. I mean, waiting till 12 p.m. is not the end of the world, but it's long enough that I would rather not have to do it. So no green algae, please. Also, oh gosh, what does a walleye's pattern look like? What's a walleye's pattern? This is not a walleye. I can tell you with, with a relative degree of certainty that's not a walleye. So a walleye is one of those fish that's like not fully locked in my brain as to how difficult it is. It's more difficult than that. That's not a walleye. 45 smooth. It's actually not that difficult then, huh? Still more diff- I could use the training rod in theory. Doesn't feel like a walleye to me. 
I'm not even sure what other fish are available in the pond, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. Hopefully it'll be, you know, hopefully it'll stand out here. Walleye. This could be a walleye. Chad, is that a walleye? I'm going to send it. I think that's a walleye. Put my money where my mouth is. Walleye! Let's go! Silver quality walleye. Not bad, not bad. In the back of my brain, I was kind of thinking, like, doesn't a walleye have a, a pattern that's similar to a bullhead? And when I saw that, it, like, jumped up to, like, the, the literally where a bullhead jumps to every single time. I was like, maybe, maybe I should trust my brain more. <laughs> walleye officially unlocked. Not a reset in sight. These fishing goals have been so kind to us lately. The green algae is staying at bay. And I could not be more appreciative. That was 1 p.m. night. It's, it's, it's always nighttime somewhere. All right. Well, why not roll on to our next goal here? I do probably have to end the stream pretty soon. I got to work in a little bit here. But we'll, we'll, we'll probably roll until we get a goal that seems like it's going to take a little bit too long. And then we'll... Uh, and then we'll wrap things up here, but for now, I will I will never leave you on a cliffhanger of not knowing what what our next goal is. That is my promise to you in the randomizer. We're always going to have an idea of what to expect next. Mostly because I also can't handle the thought of a cliffhanger. <laughs> Even if it was only for one day. But, alright. Bring you back in here. Finish it on up. That walleye has been successfully caught. Befriend Kent? We've actually already done that, Maggie. We're, we're one step ahead of you there. <laughs> Slingshot Lewis. Not a goal, but maybe something we could just do for fun if the if the mood strikes us. All right. What do we got here? Three, two, one. Bam! Catch a crab. Extremely easy. Get some crab emojis in chat. It's time for a crab rave, baby. <laughs> crab! Crab! Wait, can't I make crab cakes these days? No, maybe I just have a bunch of crab cakes and I'm just getting confused. I feel like there's something I can do with crabs, though. Either way, I'm gonna go catch a crab. Maybe even two. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm feeling a little feisty. One of your main choices? I respect, I respect the crab pick, honestly. <laughs> there's so many crabs. Pe the people love crabs, and I can't blame them. We'll, we'll leave these supply crates alone for right now. We've got crabs just, just ready to go, ripe and rare and to go. Look at this vast arsenal of crabs. I don't even know which one to pick. I could pick all of them in theory, but that's a little bit too much fishing experience, probably. Wait, I can cook crab cakes. I can. I wasn't. I wasn't mistaken. Yeah, crab cakes. I can now cook them whenever I need to because I can actually get the crabs. Pick the one on the end. That's kind of what I was thinking. It seems like the most reasonable one to take. Hold on. I, I want to make sure I don't accidentally grab the cockle. That would be devastating. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then we do a little of this, little of that. Perfect. All right, we're set. We set. We good. Pond. <laughs> Wait, that does that unlocks like a pearl or something, right? If you do like a full like fish pond of crabs. Ooh. Ooh, now I'm thinking. Now I'm a little tempted. Incoming goal 180. I haven't even been paying attention. These goals keep creeping up on me. Don't need don't want a cockle debacle. Alright, we have a, a, a fresh tank down here. Look at that. The crab is just... Yo, he's, cra he's crab walking. I thought he was just going to be like a motionless sprite hanging out in the bottom corner there, but he's actually walking. Like a true crab. What a legend. Emma, we do have pretty... It, there's not a set stream schedule all the time, necessarily. I post the stream schedule usually on the first... Uh, on the Sunday. On the Sunday. On Sunday. Um, and we usually have three streams a week. I try to anyway. I can't always promise it, but uh, I try to do. I do try to stream regularly. Crab a <laughs> All right. 
New goal, who dis? Let's pop on over here and see what we got. Catch a crab. Couldn't have asked for an e easier goal, honestly. As, at least as far as fishing goals go, any of the crab pot fish are, are okay in my book. Boom. 179 goals completed. What could the illustrious 180th goal be? 10 times the goal count of goal 18. We've come so far. Goal 18, for those not in the know, was to build a gold clock. That's That one stuck with us for a while. It's burned into my brain. They cursed the number 18 for me forever. Can 180... 10 times later, break the cycle of torment. Craft a desert warp totem. It's a little, it's a little rough, isn't it? Wait, no, that's not that bad. Because I I think I, I probably have everything I need to do that. I think I just have to get the recipe. I'm a little bummed that the that one of the next that the next warp totem I get to craft is one that I already have the obelisk for anyway. Alright. Desert Warp Totem. I think you have to buy the recipe for this for like 10 Iridium Bars from the Desert Trader, which at, uh, at another time in the challenge would have been extremely prohibitive. But now, with the Statue of Endless Fortune, has it's been just basking us in multitudes of, of Iridium Bars for however long. I think we're like totally fine here. Like, 10 Iridium Bars is, is, like, basically nothing to us right now. Just a small dent in the pile. <laughs> Plus all the Iridium Ore that we have. It's like, it doesn't even matter, dude. Do we have coconuts lying around? I don't know. What day can you buy coconuts from Sandy? It's Mondays, right? We might, we might not have coconuts lying around, so we would have to wait until then. Let's at least start by buying the recipe here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my apologies. Could I just break the wood chippers and get them out of the way? Yes, but I would never disrespect the wood chippers. They've been very kind to us. Hello, good long time no see, friend. Desert warp totem recipe. Two hardwood, one coconut, and four iridium ore. I'd probably be willing to just like forage a coconut in order to do this. Oh, shake the palm trees. Oh, shake island palm trees. We don't even need to forage. Yo, you're so right. Renbo, we can definitely just just shake them. Miles also said it. There's there's m many people are saying this. Just shake the trees for a couple coconuts. There is a coconut right there. Should I, should I could I mean I could probably take the hit to the foraging XP. Should should I just take the foraging XP hit? It probably doesn't matter, right? It's probably not going to matter at the end of the day. We're, we're past the point where we have to worry about little little amounts of experience like this. I'm brave. I'm a f I'm brave. I can do this. I can do this. I, I've strayed away from picking up Forge for so long. Chat, this is a pivotal moment. We're breaking, we're breaking the seal here. This may not be the first time we've ever forged something, but... This is the time when I'm telling myself, hey, even though if there is another way to get something without having forge, without getting any forging experience, the forging experience is fine. It's seven experience. We're going to be okay. It's all right, chat. We're safe. We've done it. We've done it. Oh, that felt good. That felt empowering. That I feel alive after that after that coconut. <laughs> <laughs> said no one ever that's a that's a brand new sentence in the in the english lexicon i feel alive after picking up that coconut in stardew valley <laughs> 7 xp it's so over shaking and crying right now over the 7 xp omg it's all right it's all right desert warp totem this is, this is going to be three goals in one day, right? Walleye, crab, and craft the desert warp totem. 
We've done all of these in a, in a single in-game day here. Need that. And how much how much iridium do I need for this? Hold on. I'm getting confused. Four iridium ore. I think I probably have enough have enough. Yeah, I've got I've got it's you know, it's cutting I don't like to dip into my iridium supplies, make them this low. But uh it, it's you know, it's for the purpose of a goal. I guess it's fine. Warp, warp totem desert officially crafted. Don't forget the angler. The angler was yesterday in game technically, but it's within within close enough proximity that it can be an honorary member. Boom. The des the warp totem suite is looking so nice right now. All we need is a wait. Should I craft? I should craft an island warp totem just to complete the set. It's like assembling all the infinity stones. One dragon tooth, one ginger. Not like we're not going to use it. So so why not, right? And we have been. We, this is the other one that we are able to craft. Just so you, I'm not. I'm not like making a catastrophic mistake here. We have crafted one of these in the past, so we're totally fine to craft this now. Look at that. They're fully assembled. We have fully assembled at least until 1.6 drops, and we get that like weird purple one. We have all the totems on our side. You love to see it. Full rainbow of totems. All right. Well, that was fun. Fun little side quest for the desert warp totem. And now we can warp to the desert whenever we feel like it. Hey, what's that obelisk over there? <laughs> All right. I'm sending you to fetch me a new goal. Finish up this one. Very, very high amount of goals we've completed this stream. We're looking pretty good. How much longer can we keep this train up? Chat, what are we looking at here? 31.9%, 180 goals in. 200 is on the horizon. It's still, you know, there's still some work to be done to get there, but we're getting, we're getting close. I can just barely see it. What do we got here? Craft basic fertilizer. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> it's these basic ones that make me feel a certain, like, special kind of way. Cra just crafting basic fertilizer. Something that people do on, like, day five of their Stardew playthrough most of the time. Or that, at least you could do that early on. Even earlier. I don't even... Is, do you even need a farming level to craft basic fertilizer? I don't remember. I honestly don't. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been 25 years. Basic fertilizer. Writing it down. And it's yet another goal that we can complete within this day. This is going to be walleye, crab, desert warp totem, and basic fertilizer all in one day here. This is crazy. This might be setting a new record for most goals completed in a single in-game in day. Do we have enough sap? I think we probably have enough sap. You only need, you need two. I'm gonna craft literally exactly one basic fertilizer. That's probably all I need, right? Fall second year twenty five. Write it in the history books. <laughs> one basic fertilizer right up there next to my hundred and thirty eight deluxe retaining soil. <laughs> oh, look at all this that I've managed to amass without ever having even one basic fertilizer. It's so good. All right. Onward we go. Onward and upward in the names in the name in the words of that flower from Super Mario Bros Wonder. Finish me up, please. Perfect. Perfect. 32.1%. We keep going. We keep going. Give me another goal I can complete today. Give me a crafting. Give me a cooking. Give me give me something exciting. Hit me with it. Cook a stir fry. We can do that. I can do that. I can keep cooking. <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. All right. Let me write it down. Stir fry. This is going to be five goals. Walleye. Crab. 
Desert Warp Totem, Basic Fertilizer, and Stir Fry all in one fell swoop on a single day here. This is unprecedented. We've been we've been blessed this day. <laughs> After sleeping for so long, we've had so many long siestas. Finally, we just get one where we actually have to put in a good, hard day's work. Alright, what do I need to make a stir fry? Stir fry, where are you? Where are you? Stir fry, stir fry. I need one cave carrot, one common mushroom, one kale, and one oil. Okay. Ale? I already forgot everything else. <laughs> I need a common mushroom. Um, I have a few of those. I need oil. What else did I need? Can I just make it? I can just make it. Cool. Cave carrot. Nice. <laughs> easy. Easy. Julienne vegetables on a bed of rice. Julienne isn't even a real word. Get that out of here. Let's make it into something, into something fancy here. A little stir fry shirt. Where was the rice? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> so I think stir-fry existed before rice did in Stardew Valley. Maybe. Ew. Camo shirt. Oh, I can... Is there a camo outfit? Can we make full camo outfit? <laughs> Beatrix channeling her inner... Uh, her, her inner huntsman right there. Look at that. Camo shirt helps you blend in with the surroundings. We can go hunting. <laughs> Where did Beatrix's torso go? Where'd she go? Secret Agent Beatrix. Secret Agent Cody Banks. The sequel. Missing texture for the shirt. Yeah, you're right. It was it was gone for a minute there. It was a little disconcerting. I'm glad I put on my I'm glad I put on my my old shirt again. All right. That's five goals in one in-game day. Can we make it six? Is there a world where we get six goals? There, there have been many streams where we don't even complete six goals. Getting six in one single in-game day is absolutely just insane. It's pog rich, as, as the cool kids are saying. Cook a stir fry, done. The streak has to end eventually. Is it ending here? Befriend Haley! Whoa! If it has to end somewhere, I'm glad it's ending here. <laughs> my girl! That's my girl, right? Well, it's Chloe's girl, but, you know, fair enough. Exclamation point Haley? Exclamation point Haley? <laughs> what does she have to say? She literally said me? Question mark? Who, me? That's so good. Haley bot. Haley bot never misses. That's amazing. What did she say? I get scared easily. All right, chat. We have to cool it a little bit. She's getting a little nervous. She's getting a little bit of stage right here. Oh my gosh. All right, Haley. I think that's an, that's a phenomenal place to to pick up next stream. Another member added to our our list of possible marriage candidates to to woo when we get uh, when we get the star drop goal. Something tells me we probably won't go down the down the Haley rabbit hole because I feel like Beatrix would be, you know, I this Beatrix is not as inclined towards Haley necessarily as Chloe, as Chloe might be. So we don't want to necessarily step on someone else's turf is all I'm saying. <laughs> Bring her a, a prismatic shard as a welcoming gift? Don't tempt me, because I will. <laughs> you think it would be a funny meme to give her a prismatic shard as a gift? But here's the thing. If I were to give her a prismatic shard right now, I would ha there would be literally zero negative consequences, because I have no friendship points with her to lose anyway. So all I would lose is the prismatic shard. You really want me to do this? Sacrifice one of my two prismatic shards? For the lulls. <laughs> well, you know, I'll make that decision tomorrow. For now, we'll put the ends to a beautiful day and a beautiful stream.
wonderful. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me on this leg of the Perfection Randomizer. It was fun. We had good times, we had bad times. And we have times that we'll never talk about again. Pay, pay no attention to that volcano run earlier in the stream. That It didn't happen. You don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> You're safe here. I promise. Alright. I'm gonna get the heck out of here, though. Thank you all for a wonderful stream. It was a great time. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And I will see you all, hopefully, tomorrow. I will be streaming again, same time, same place. And we will begin our journey to befriend the one and only Haley Stardew Valley. That's not her last name, but for lack of a better option. <laughs> Take care, everyone. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye.